impossible becomes possible. Whoa, look at this little guy. So cute. I'm a huge dog lover. But I'm way more into girls. No! Hojima, come back! Hojima! That was weird. So you want to go out sometime? Ew, are you trying to pick me up? My name is Kusuo Saiki, and I have psychic superpowers. Sixteen years ago, an ordinary couple gave birth to a not-so-ordinary baby boy. So cute, almost as cute as mommy. So cute, almost as cute as daddy. Oh, you. Wow, so I guess I'm still only second place. I started talking when I was 14 days old, without using my voice. Soon afterward, I started walking when I was one month old, in the air. And at one year old... We're out? I can't cook without rice wine. Oh, Kusuo? I ran my first errands. Oh, Koo. My mom finally started to worry about me. Now, you'd think after a year of this weirdness, they'd take me to get tested, but my folks are kind of weird themselves. I'm pretty sure he stole the rice wine. Well, see. Our little psychic boy did pay after all! I don't know how he paid for They can it, still act like lovebirds, and, and they take everything in stride, Whoa, including me and all my like weird me. powers. Talented artist. So time rolled on. I became the person you see now, a high school student. As you saw with the floating car, I still have my superpowers. I can bend spoons like any good psychic. And I can win any corporate giveaway I want. My life is a dream come true. That is what you're thinking, right? Well, let me drop some truth bombs. Bending spoons makes it harder to eat, and winning free popsicles just leads to stomach aches. He's the happiest boy alive. That boy can have anything and do anything. Well, that's dead wrong. I'm the unhappiest boy alive, a boy who has nothing. Telepathy, psychokinesis, x-ray vision, precognition, teleportation, clairvoyance, etc., etc. Sure, I can do all those things. But having powers like that also means having something taken away. Sort of like how because we feed our pets, they've lost the ability to hunt. Or when a mother spoils her child, he loses the ability to become a functional adult. In this way, there are some key experiences I've missed out on. Hard work, culminating in a sense of achievement, the thrill of being thrown a surprise party. They're both totally foreign to me. Sure, I never get angry or sad about anything, but that just means that... Maybe I should focus on the bright side, though. No drama means things are always peaceful for me. And that's Where the hell is bad. he? Hmm? Uh, Kusua, welcome home, my son! You're running kinda late today, huh? Why is Dad sitting in front of the house? I'll get right to the point, Kuswo. I'm locked out of the house. Can you open it up for your old pop? Are you kidding? Again? Whoa! I love those psychic powers of yours. They're just so sneaky, yeah. Don't call them sneaky. Kuswo, with those kind of powers, think of all the things you could do. Keep your dark thoughts to yourself, Dad. Who is that you? You're back? Ah! We'll talk more later! I guess there is one thing in my life that's decidedly unpeaceful. I can't believe you changed the locks on me again! That would be my parents' current relationship. I hope you're hungry, Cuckoo. I'm making you breaded pork chops for dinner. Hang on, and now you're choosing to ignore me? Besides, I told you I wanted to have steak tonight! I'm sorry, I forgot, but I can boil you a leather shoe. I don't want a shoe, leather I wonder or when no. it went wrong for them. They used to be so passionate. Well, I love you like a fish loves water. Oh, you. My hate for you has become as wide and deep as the Pacific Ocean! I hate you like a fish hates air! You suck! Well, they're still passionate now, but it's a little different. Gorge yourselves, guys. I made it to- hey. Is it good, Koo? Oh, honey, would you like something else? No, because I bet it's just the other shoe. Oh, bon appetit! That's not even from the same pair! And this They've one been going at each other for a year. Hey, Kuswo, use your powers to turn this old shoe into a steak for Daddy. So in case you forgot, this pathetic dude's my dad, Kuniharu Saiki. He's lazy and irresponsible and asks for help with everything in his life. But surprise, surprise, the more I help, the more useless he gets. So lately, I've stopped doing him any favors. What? How dare you take your mother's side in this? Do you have any idea how many shoes I have to lick each day to buy that salt. food you're eating now? Nothing better than Italian. Loafers, that is. So you do like to eat shoes. All right, I'll eat it. It stinks! What did you do to this shoe? Are you trying to poison I'm pretty sure that's how they always smell, dummy. Hey, Koo, you'll just remember what I've always said. Please don't use your powers for evil. This is my mom, Kurumi Saiki. You must only use your powers to help those in need. 
or those people who you are certain are genuinely nice. She's a big reason why I haven't let my gifts turn me to the dark side. She's a caring soul, well, to me. But feel free to use your powers to hurt your daddy. <laughs> she kind of has a dark side herself. Stop eating Kusuo's dinner, you thieving son of a bitch! That's it, we're taking this outside! In truth, I can break up this fight whenever I feel like it, but this is something they're going to have to work out themselves. Coffee-flavored jelly? There's no finish. Don't let the name fool you, folks. This jelly is a mature, dignified treat. Better still, when you add just a splash of whole milk, it becomes an entirely new flavor sensation. And that hint of decadence is everything I ask for in my dessert. You wanted to eat jelly that bad? Forget the jelly, we got bigger problems! Your mother's turned into a monster! Stop running from me, you got to You're my only hope to stop her reign of terror! <laughs> Stopping another pointless fight, but I can't help myself. So now you're on your dad's side? But I even made you pork chops! Why do I say it's pointless? Just wait. I want nothing to do with either of you again! That's a lie! Truth is, I love them! No matter how hard they try, the voices in their hearts always bubble up. In other words, all these fights they have are a sham. Alright, well I hate you both too, so there! Yeah, I said it! Just kidding, you know I love you guys, I want to snuggle! Oh, honey, like I said, so another pointless so fight. So hot. There is one person here who has real reason to be upset. Me. Those weirdos interrupted my dessert. I guess only a psychic can fix this. Love you. Wait, did you just say you love me? Who said it? Oh no, I thought I just thought that, but did I say it? And what does she loves me back mean? He loves me? So you did say it. You just admitted to thinking it out loud. Is it possible that I love her so much I've started hearing things? He loves me so much? Huh? She can hear me too? What? Yeah. He did say it. Not out loud. What? Kuswo! Forced shared telepathy. I used my psychic powers to link their minds at the neural level. In other words, thanks to me, they can now hear each other's thoughts. Turn it off right now! I don't want your dad finding out that I still love her! Finding out that I still love her is my worst nightmare! I love you, dear. I love you, too. Cool. The end. I'm sorry, honey. No, I'm sorry. What a pain. Oh, Normal people are complicated. At least now I can finish my dessert in peace. If your coffee jelly would have trapped us in this cycle of violence, I wouldn't have done it. You did nothing wrong, honey. It was all my fault for getting so angry with you and breaking all the doors and windows in the house. Let's set things right. A token of our renewed passion. Whoa. Is it good? Mm-hmm. It's a mature, dignified treat. Delicious. school pk academy 542 ghouls relatively small size no one knows about my powers how many times if they did know all hell would break loose back when i was in kindergarten i was undefeated in rock paper scissors which shouldn't surprise you since you know that i can hear people's thoughts some kids would cheat so i'd just tie them so they'd never win in lawless kindergarten all battles are fought with rock paper scissors okay kusuo let's play rock paper scissors if i win you have to share your treat with the other students even against a teacher, I always best won. Of three. Uh, best of and nine. one. Tradition says teachers just need to win once, right? And one. Let me show it's you quite the street. Drop. After that, she disappeared from the school entirely. I followed up that incident with even more success, and it took a while for things to finally die down. So I learned it's best to stop using my powers in public. Now I only do it when it's absolutely necessary and when I'm sure no one else is looking. And the way I do that is to use my telepathy. Within 200 meters, I can sense anyone. Guess who? Well, that used to be the case. There's one guy my powers always fail to spot. Hey there, buddy! Yuki Nindo. The guy no one likes, but who's strangely taken a liking to me. That doesn't bother me. What does bother me is the fact that no matter how hard I try, I can't read this guy's thoughts. And believe me, everyone has thoughts I can read. Like this guy. I don't want to go to the dentist. Or this guy. No, forget it. I finally figured out why that is. Nindo is a moron. You can't read a mind if there's nothing on it. Which is kind of scary. He passed out! Hello, blood sugar! What happened, buddy? Are you well, he's not a bad person, at least. I mean, I don't think so. Okay, I take it back. He's evil. Nindo, what do you think you're doing? Take him to the nurse. 
What? The nurse? Okay, right! Hey, Psyche, why don't you go with the two of them? I don't trust Nindo to find it. Damn it. Huh? Is the nurse dead too? That's weird. Guess I'll have to do mouth to mouth on you myself. Please don't. Oh, I don't need mouth to mouth, you stupid idiot! You're better. Well, that's nice to see. Of course I'm better! I was faking! Was it worth it, though, since I got kissed by you? Oh, if it makes you feel better, I'm sad too. You were my first kiss. You're only making it worse, Nindo. Now everyone's gonna think they do when I hurt love. I absolutely guarantee no one is thinking that. Hey, you better not tell anyone my fainting spell was a fake. I can't count that as my first kiss, right? That was terrible! Don't tell anyone. Don't tell what? That you faked being sick? Or that now I know you shared your first kiss with Nindo? If it's the sick thing, you're too late. I heard it all! Matsuzaki! So your fainting was a con job, huh? Crap! It's Jim Teacher Matsuzaki! That's not what happened, sir! It's his fault! He forced me to collapse like a room! Yeah, no, is that all true? Ending this on Nindo isn't a half bad idea. Huh? Psyche, what are you doing here? What? Takahashi, is he also part of this? Who? Uh, yeah, sure. That's it! I want you both in my office! Dragging me into this is a bad idea, pal. Hold on a sec, Teach! Hmm? His fainting is real. Didn't you just hear him say it? Rude sickness. Holy crap, he's dumb. How could anyone mistake Ruse for Roots? What? Isn't that right? What the holy heck? What's Root Sickness? Root Sickness is a deadly virus that affects the victim through his follicles. Oh, that one. <laughs> He's dumb, too. Let's take your temperature to see if you have a fever. It's what my mom always does for me. Come on, dude. I don't have a fever. I'm not even sick! 92.8 Celsius. Uh -huh. Don't call an ambulance now! Speed this thing, man! We'll save what hair we can! Pyrokinesis. My ability to manipulate fire. Oops, I melted the tip. Better hide the evidence. <gasps> he saw. Have the fever too? You can beat this thing, man! Like I man! said, Nindo's a moron. I'm Shun Kaido, an 11th grader at PK Academy. At least, that's my cover story. In reality, a force called Blackbeat dwells in my right arm. But they are trying to steal the two. The Dark Reunion! But with my power, I will protect the world. I, the Jet Black Wings. <laughs> his body's grade 11, but his mind's grade 8. Did you hear? A deadly snake escaped from the local zoo. There's a poisonous snake on the loose? Are you boys sure it escaped? An animal attack is just the kind of plan they'd come up with. But fear not, I, the Jet Black Wings, am never fooled by their evil deception. Someone must have set that snake free on purpose. Hang on, you know the guy who did this, Kaido? Some wannabe supervillain called the Black Wings? No, Wing? I'm Jet Black Wings, the hero. The villains are a secret organization named Dark Reunion. And this escaped snake thing is the first step in their evil plot to sort mankind. Dark Reunion? Who? Jeez, never heard of him. <laughs> Once again, the fate of the world has fallen into our superpowered laps, eh, Psyche? Oh boy. He doesn't realize I actually do have superpowers. This is all just play acting for him. Psyche, what's your read? I don't like this one bit. This snake, which I've named Murder Dragorum Snake, is likely no ordinary snake. That's quite the dramatic name. It's also likely that Dark Reunion genetically engineered Murder Dragorum Snake specifically to kill people. He's fond of saying likely. We're running out of time here, Psyche. The world's counting on us to stop that slithering. Hey, good news, they caught the snake. Well, that's a relief. Where did they find it? At the school's front gate. It was just kind of laying on the ground, half dead. Is it possible Psyche and I aren't the only students with superpowers? Okay, why was it half dead? Some first graders at- Sounds like we beat Dark Reunion this time. Be careful what you say, they're an all-powerful secret society. Who knows what they'll do to you when they sort mankind. <laughs> Go ahead and laugh. This is the calm before the storm. Dark Reunion is coming! I tried to warn you all, I swear- He's going to the bathroom to cry. Whoa. I better go with him. He's a superhero. It's like he's in elementary school. One time he said there's a monster in his arm. <laughs> you guys, it started to take over my whole bed. <laughs> Watch out! There's something in there! Uh -huh. ah! 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 It's behind the door! I saw that snake coming. You know, because I'm psychic. I could help them, but I'd have to out myself. So I'll just stay here until things calm down. Speaking of calming down, Kaido should stay here for a while, too. Now, back to that snake attack. Did someone see where it Stop went? No way! What a bunch of dorks! When did you get in here? Guys, balls still attached. Worry about yours! This might feel weird. Well, obviously they do! The snake's on your crotch! No!
Calm down, it didn't bite through the fabric. It's coming toward us! The power of clairvoyance. By crossing his eyes, Kusuo is able to remotely view distant locations. Everybody, get down! Hmm? I'll take care of this scurrum snake! It's time you face me, the Jet Black Wings! Let's go. That's the real pose! Let's, Let's get out of here while we can! So we're having a fake superhero fight a real poisonous snake now? Kaido may look confident right now, but he has no idea what to do. Why did I think I could fight a snake? I'm so stupid! No, I'm screwed. I love you, Mommy. Take this, Judgment Night Son! Sorry, Kaido. I'll be handling this part myself. I'm sorry I said you had the body of an 11th grader and the mind of an 8th. You don't have real powers, but you certainly have real I really courage. do have superpowers. Thus, the great snake attack came to an end. I don't care for this new attitude of yours, Kaido. You better watch what you say, Teach. It ain't a pleasant thing to get blasted with the Judgment Knights of Thunder. That's it. Go to the principal's office. He's gotten more immature. I take back everything I just said. Hey, a pretty girl. Wow. There's no one better at getting people's attention. My name is Kokomi Teruhashi. And not to sound arrogant, but I'm an example of a perfect pretty girl. Again, I'm not trying to be a jerk. I'm just stating I'm not my flawless good luck. Hey, you want to go out with me sometime? Now, if I were your average pretty girl, how about you go to a pig farm and kiss one of them? I'd probably say something like that. But I'm perfect. I'm sorry. But I have to study for a test tonight. <laughs> oh, good luck! So, not only am I beautiful on the outside, I'm beautiful on the inside. And you know what that means, right? It means I'm invincible. <laughs> that guy's in my class. What's his name? Saga Sake. Saiki! Kunio Saiki. Oh, he looks so alone. Poor thing. I should go say hi and brighten his day. <laughs> Remember, I'm not just pretty on the outside, I'm also perfectly pretty on the inside. Psyche, hi! I couldn't help but notice you look sad. Perfect! Now he has a memory of me to cherish for the rest of his life. Not only did you get to be seen talking to the prettiest girl in school while out in public, she's the one who rushed over to you. I bet you've fallen in love. That's okay. Even though we're on separate social levels, it's a natural response to my beauty. How else are you supposed to react to perfection? That's it! You're supposed to panic You're at so the hot. touching me! Rashi. I get it. He's uncomfortable showing his emotions in public. That's the only way to explain his non-reaction. And he's just beating himself up for being so bashful around me. Okay then, shy guy. I'll give you another chance. Because, girl, Psyche! Silly! You know it's not polite to ignore a girl! He didn't even stop, let alone bow! Am I invisible? Am I dead? Oh, I know! He's so used to being There's alone no and miserable, he's probably like convinced Hedenhashi himself that any pretty girls who like talk to him are just illusions. Well, I'm gonna have to prove to him I'm really give him the happiest mind. day of his life! Psyche, don't leave me alone! He dodged! But if he thinks I'm an illusion, why would he have to step around me? Is it possible that he's so in love, even touching my illusion would be too much? Even though she's a figment of it's my very flattering to know that I mean so much to this poor, pathetic boy. Oh, brother. Why does this chick from school keep following? Psyche! Hi! Here she comes. The one thing this arrogant girl won't consider is that I'm ignoring her. Though to be fair, if I was the kind of guy she thinks I am... Oh, wow! It's Teruhashi! I probably would be just like that. Nindo too. Wow, it's Teruhashi! She is very pretty. In fact, everything Teruhashi thinks about herself is actually true. That's what makes her so dangerous. She really does attract attention. And because I don't like attention, I don't want her around me. Do you mind if I tag along with you? I promise it'll be fun, Psyche! Nindo! This is bad. She thinks I think she's fake, but if he acknowledges her, I have no choice but to acknowledge her too. I'll be checkmated by social convention. Oh, what? I'll disappear into the crowd. He didn't see me. That was a close. <laughs> I could swear I just saw my best friend. <gasps> oh no! Where did Psyche go? What's going on? See, I accidentally teleported. The people around me didn't seem to notice my vanishing, but of course, Teruhashi knows something is off. Well, maybe it's best if you think I was the illusion. Nendo? <laughs> oh wow! Hey there, Teruhashi! Do you know where Psyche went? What, buddy? Nope, I haven't seen him. It's like he disappeared. Is it possible he was a figment of my imagination? Huh? You're so much in love with me that you see illusions of me? Oh my gosh, no, it can't be. Don't tell me that I'm... 
What are these feelings coming over me? I think I'm falling in love with Psyche. Oh, wow. Teruhashi. Get me wrong, I'm good at sports, like metal in just about any event good, but that's exactly why. What the hell was that? Was that a meteor? It's so hard for me to play at a normal human All right, level. Losers, listen up. We're playing dodgeball. Dodgeball in high school? Oh, uh, what about cyber? Hey, quit complaining. Let's give it everything we've got. So what if it's childish? It'll be fun to relive our youth. Let's go out there and dodge till we drop. Eh? Well, if Pyro really wants us to, then I guess... Yeah, we gotta give it a shot, right? That's Kineshi Haido, our class rep. He's a little too relentlessly gung-ho for my taste. But the rest of the class hey, seems to respect him. Team. We'll decide teams with rock, paper! Alright! We're gonna win this thing! Yeah! <laughs> we'll start with a jump ball. And with that, the game is on! And how is he sweating that much already? We just started. All right, guys, we got the ball this time. Hey there, Psyche. We're taking you first! Already? Might as well go with it. Dude, are you okay? At least I can sit out the rest of the game now. The more time I spend on the bench, the better. Hold it, Psyche! Were you actually trying to get hit by that ball? Guess I made it too obvious. For real? Well... Hey, where are you going? You're not out. Uh, face safe rule! Hmm. Seriously, that's the rule? Great. And now I've got to throw the ball? This is ridiculous. Throwing balls is where I have the most trouble masking my power. Psyche, give it all you got! I'd rather not do that. You say it like it's no big deal. But if I really gave it all I've got, somebody'd wind up dead. Forget the face safe rule. They won't have a face anymore. I'll try my best to throw it weekly, but just in case, I'll aim for Nindo. Uh... Huh? Ah! This isn't a game, kid! It's serious! Put some heart into it! Okay, I get it. Calm down. Hey, now, buddy. Thanks for going easy on your boy, but right now we're supposed to be enemies. Then you're only going easy on him because he's your friend! <laughs> 
Yeah, no part of that is true. All right. They don't call me Ned the Dodgeballer for nothing. And that's where Booyah Goofa. Whoa, he took out six players at once. The paper team's only got two guys left. Obviously got to save my pal for last, which makes you my next target, Captain. Dodgeball! I'll catch it. For my brave teammates who sacrificed themselves. I'll catch it even if it kills me. I should go out before you. Sorry I couldn't play harder, Haido, but I've got my reasons. Hey, don't give up now! We're still in this! Let's go! Whoa, look! Here comes the ball! He saved Psyche's butt! You've got to be kidding me. Oh no! Hyro's knee is busted! That means Psyche's the only one left on Team Paper! You have got to be kidding me. Looks like this is it for me. Don't you give up. I entrust this ball to you. I know that you're hiding something, Psyche. You've got a power deep inside you that you're not using. What's that loose and unleash? Oh! You do realize you only scraped your knee, right? Help us, Psyche. You're our only hope. Oh! Yo, Psyche, I believe in you. We're counting on you, Psyche! Take their butts, Psyche! You have got to be kidding me. There's nothing I hate more than being the center of attention. And yet here I am, all eyes on me. So what do I do now? Looks like Psyche's found himself in a difficult spot here. Uh huh. Psyche's on the paper team, which originally had the upper hand when they started playing thanks to Hyro's killer opening attack. But then Nindo took out six players with one shot, then while trying to save Psyche from getting out, Hyro got hurt and was forced to leave the game. So now Psyche's the only player left on paper team! That's right. Wow, thanks for that detailed recap. Though what makes this situation difficult for me isn't that I'm one man against seven. Not to brag, but winning this would be a breeze. The problem is, if I do, my likability will skyrocket and everyone's gonna be watching me 24-7, which sucks. On the other hand, if I throw the game and lose, I'll be about as popular as a stink bug, in which case I'll attract the merciless attention of bullies. Either way, I'm in the spotlight, so I'm not really concerned with winning or losing. For me, it's all about getting out of this as unremarkably as possible. That's the challenge. 41? That's a tad low. Likeability of everyone around him, it calculates his likability and quantifies it. Do My it. goal Stay here is 50. Get to get that, I have to at least take out one guy. Stop, Stop screwing around, you jerk! Huh? Well, that went down do? fast. With that score, a girl would scream at the sign the seat next to you. Figuring out how hard to throw is tricky. If I really tried, it'd break the sound barrier and do catastrophic damage. But this slow ball's different than the last one. Got it! Psyche is so the worst. Over. Try harder, bro! This time I threw... Got it! Got it! A spin ball. Whoa. Nice, my likability's back up. Even if I get out now, I can end up around 50. Just gotta get hit next time. <laughs> Finally, it's my turn to show you what I've got. Do you have any idea what that means for you, Psyche? It means that you're in big trouble! Jeez, I have to let this kid take me out? Here's my meteor spark genocide ball! <laughs> You call that a throw? What the hell was that, Kaido? It looks like Psyche got lucky. If you can't catch that, that's just sad. If I don't catch this one, my likability's gonna plummet. With a score of 36, the students won't put your chair down when they're done cleaning. All right! We got the ball again! If I throw another spin ball, that'll look suspicious. Hey, Psyche, over here! I'm open! Toss it here! Bring me in! If I pass the ball to the owl, it gets to him, though, so I'll put a little strength behind this one. <laughs> Shoot, that was a little too much strength. With a score of 73, peers will reciprocate nonsensical greetings. Sorry. Time to end this. No! I guess he couldn't pull it off. Well, he gave it his best. 55. I can live with that. Got it! But it's just in time. Hyro! Not you again. Hyro's back! Psyche, I saw the spirit you put into that throw. It really moved me. Yeah, I don't care about your likability. I'll handle things from here. Sorry, but your little comeback ends here. I won't be dropped as easy as those puny whips. Yeah, me neither. Fine, let's finish this thing. Break! With that injury, Haido probably can't catch Nindo's ball right now. I've got no choice. The kid wounded his knee because of me. Much as I hate to draw attention, 
I hate being in debt to someone even more. No! You take it! He did it! It's a miracle! Oh, great. It wound up at 82. Psyche's so amazing! Nice job, Psyche! Buddy! That was a really great match, man! Likeability. It can free fall in the blink of an eye. High school love is always in the air, which is something I consider entirely pointless. These romantic feelings elude me. Take Teruhashi, for example. Every boy in school wants her. Come on, Teruhashi, when are you gonna get a boyfriend? Well, why can't they just think I'm too young to be dating? Seriously? Meanwhile, I have zero interest in her because I know who she really is. So when she says something like, Studying should be our focus as students. The only thing I hear is, Actually, I don't get involved with immature brats. And this is how she looks to me. His annual income should be at least 40 million yen! Oh yeah, I can't control this ability to see through objects, just like I can't control my telepathy. To find out more, please read The Disastrous Life of Psyche K. Anyway, that's the main reason I'll probably never want to be in a relationship. And it's why I'm currently facing a serious dilemma. Yep. Psyche always looks so dreamy. Meet my dilemma, Chiyo Yumehara. Oh, Psyche. Lately, I just can't stop thinking about Nike. I have such a huge crush on you. What? What was that? Oh. No, this won't work at all. I'll stand out as a freak. I know I'm repeating myself, but I really don't want to stand out. I wonder what he's thinking right now. I just need her to give up on me. And to do that... I just need to know more about him. And to do that... I, I have, have to, to get, get away from her immediately. Here he comes, and he's all by himself. Now's my chance. Just remember the plan. First, Psyche and I will bump into each other at the corner. Papers flying everywhere. Are you okay? Here, let me help you pick these up. Oh, uh, yeah, thank you. Uh, uh, sorry. Oh, well, that's okay. <laughs> You've got some more hands. Love it's fantasy. Perfect. Okay, here we go. <gasps> Just in love. <laughs> Best thing about this plan is, even if he doesn't notice the handkerchief, I still have an excuse to talk to him. You see if Psyche takes the bait. Hmm, he's not saying anything. Oh well, that's okay. On to plan B. Oh my goodness, that's really bizarre. My pink handkerchief is right here. How'd that happen? Undeterred, Chio continued on her mission to engage Psyche. However, Can someone knock! I made way too many cookies at home, Egg, and I was wondering if you wanted some. Yeah, I'd love some. Who's this guy? Every single one of her plans failed. Maybe Psyche and I just aren't meant to be together. Great, on top of everything, I forgot my umbrella. That's it! See ya! Man, it's raining cats and dogs out I here. bet Psyche brought his umbrella. He seems like the responsible type. Wow, it's really coming down. I am. Um, why would you like to join me under my umbrella? <sighs> His smile is as warm and as bright as the sun. Finally, the perfect plan! <laughs> oh, the rain just stopped. Oh, Psyche. I give up. It seems Psyche and I are destined to always be apart. Goodbye, Psyche. Goodbye, Yumehara. Please forget about me and find somebody else. I'm sure another guy will come along soon, so... Want to share my umbrella? But the ring... Art, please, let me be the umbrella for your overcast heart. This boy, I just met my soulmate. Okay, that's a little too soon. Kuswo, give me a hand moving some furniture. Won't take long with your powers. Move it yourself. Huh? I would, but I've got other things to carry. Ah! See, like your mother. I've got my hands full carrying her around. You're so strong, honey. I repeat, move it yourself. 
Due to a marital spat, this couple has been sleeping in separate bedrooms. However, that's all about to change, thanks to the help of a craftsman I'm who- not a craftsman. Whoa! You really are amazing, Koo! Yeah, seriously, what do people without a psychic son do? Woohoo! Flying bed! Oh my! Some of you, like this idiot here, may be getting the wrong idea, so let me clear a few things up. If you think my power is always convenient, you're wrong. Most of my abilities come with limitations and drawbacks. For instance, some can only be used under certain circumstances. Oops, I don't know how that picture got in there. So yeah, I'm not all powerful. Hey, look at me! I'm the strongest man in the world! Oh my goodness! See? Lost my strength for a second. <sighs> Well, that's the last of it. I'm all done now. Good job. Here, you must be thirsty. Don't act like you. The bed's blocking access to the balcony. Oh, no, you're right. I'd love to move it, but it's too heavy to move by myself. Hmm, if only there was someone who could move it really easily. Well, to do that, they'd probably need psychic yeah, powers. Yeah, I wish there was someone with psychic Stop this farce. Around. Is there anyone like that here? Uh, oh, <gasps> just stop. Ah, this is perfect. Now we can get to the balcony again. How can we thank you? How about we give you a little brother or sister? Which would you prefer? Please don't imply whatever you're implying. Anyway, if that's all, I'll be in my room. Uh-oh. Now we can't get the closet door open. What a travesty! <sighs> wow, that's so much better. Oh yeah, this time it's definitely perfect. Now let's go have some... Huh? <sighs> Are they stupid or what? Maybe we should knock this wall down. Let's do it! Kuzmo, make it happen! Just remember, you asked for this. Done. Okay. Uh, thanks, I guess. Hey, what did you expect? <laughs> yeah, that's a good reaction. This is nice. Knocking it down was the right call. The room's a lot more spacious yeah, now. Yeah, it really is. All this space overwhelms me. I'm about to lose it. This emptiness right here bothers me. Then let's put something there. What about a TV? That's not quite right. I'm thinking tiger rug. Sofa! Let's bring it in here, Kuswo! That's a terrible place for a couch. Who's gonna want to sit in the corner? We can't have our heads facing north. What the hell is that? <laughs> Too human! What do we need two beds for? I've never seen that ceiling before! Something feels off! This isn't working. Let's take a break. Honey, look at this. The room on the left is our bedroom, and we tore down the wall because it was too small, right? But it looks like the room on the right was already much bigger. So instead of tearing down the wall, maybe we should have just made the one on the right our bedroom. Oh, that's it! Really? I did good? Oh, you did very good. Right, you heard the woman put the wall back up. We're counting on you, Koo. Uh, do it for her. Oh, honey, please. Son, I swear this really is our last request. It better be, because I'm done. Wall, resume your original state. You're on your own now. Our sweet castle of love is finally complete. I love you. I forgot to mention, my restoration ability has a drawback too. Huh? Where's the bed? See, it doesn't actually revert things to their former state. All it does is turn back time for that object by one day. Problem is, time rewinds for things that are nearby too. In this case, we're dealing with a wall, so the whole house might have gone back to the way it was. What happened? <laughs> Suzaki's on the warpath again. Great. A surprise inspection. Let me ask you. Think I can pass the dress code check looking like this? The answer, of course, is... Hey! Stop right there! Obviously. That hair is unacceptable! Who? It's, it's to be expected since, by all accounts, I'm a perfectly normal student. The other day, I received some fan mail asking the question, If Psyche doesn't want to stand out, why is his appearance so strange? Well, here's the answer. In this world, my look is natural. Now, of course, when you think about it, I'm not normal at all. Yet, I'm the most inconspicuous kid in school. How? I'll tell you. Mind control. I can alter people's thoughts, at least to some extent. I mean, I can't completely control somebody's actions. If I could, this guy would shut up already. Right? But what I can do is make others perceive unnatural things as something totally natural. Antenna? Yeah, sure. That's what they are. Thus, I can go through life and not stick out. Simple, right? 
But I've got to use this power sparingly, because if I change someone's way of thinking, it'll affect the people around them, too. Take a look around. In this world, you almost never see people with black hair. This phenomenon, believe it or not, is all due to my psychic powers. For some unknown reason, I was born with pink hair. Meanwhile, all the other kids had black hair. Or on occasion, brown. Since I didn't want to stand out, I used mind control. As a result, pink became a common hair color, and it's pretty normal now to see hair in all sorts of colors. And their hair is natural. I altered human biology right down to the genetic level. Are you starting to get the potential risk of my power? Hey, wanna get some ramen? To tell you the truth, that's not the only thing I've changed. Whoa! Oh, Matt! Hit Nendo! Sorry! You okay? Watch your aim, punks! Sorry, Nendo! Don't you think it's strange how his injury healed so abnormally fast? That's right. As you've no doubt guessed, this is the result of my psychic powers, too. When I was little, a kid skinned his knee. I healed it. Needless to say, he was surprised. So I used mind control. Started to think it was natural for them to heal right away. As a result, people's ability to self-heal increased dramatically. Maybe you've noticed other freakish behavior like this. Here it comes! Is it a fastball or his favorite the curveball? According to his stats, he usually throws a curveball first. I should adjust. He thinks too fast, fast right? Ah. Yep. That's all because of me. Humans have evolved to think fast when they need to react instantly. Now clothes can be torn off while the crotch remains covered. Tiny folks can be super strong. You can knock someone out with just a chop. All these unnatural phenomena were caused by me. And yeah, sure, I feel some guilt for changing the world like I have, but it's too late to change things back now. Still, at the same time, I've shown some restraint and things haven't gotten too out of hand. What was that? Wanna tell me which rules I'm violating? You don't wanna mess with me, you bastard! Oh! That's his legendary planet-destroying attack! Galactic Magnum Flavored Punch! Ah! Mr. Atakayama! Kongo, you're so blinded by rage you've left yourself wide open. Whoa, that was a chop! Mr. Atakayama chopped him! Well, are you doing all right, Mr. Matsuzaki? Yeah. Thanks, you really saved my pain. You'll notice his clothes are untorn. Punch, man, of course, that's another of the Just changes I've made. Okay. See? Who's ready for another trade? The end trick by me, Master Illusionist, Oriyoku Chono. Hey, pink hair, join the fun. I'll do a trick to put a smile on that face. <laughs> no thanks, I've already seen it. Oh, I see you're a skeptic. Well, once you see my show, you will become a believer in my powers to amaze. Ha <laughs> ha! Fine, I'll watch. Just so he leaves me alone. Right. I hold here an ordinary cardboard box. Nope. There's nothing ordinary about it. As you can see, it's empty inside. At that angle, they can't tell there's a partition. But watch! Just a couple taps and it's party time! Aren't they amazing, folks? Hey there, kid. Trey Bien, am I right? It's not Trey Bien. If anything, I'm worried about that dub. And now, ladies and gentlemen, please turn your attention here for the main event of our show, my super illusion! Magically teleporting from one box to another will be my lovely assistant, Michael! Lovely is a stretch. The beautiful Michael is entering the box! And, drum roll! This is so sad. What expression am I supposed to be making right now? La 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 la! This overconfidence makes me cringe. I'm still worried about this poor guy. Does that hat have air holes? All right, let's open the box. Uh-oh. Lovely Mike isn't done. Two, one. It's party time! <laughs> Drapian! Now I really don't know what sort of expression to make. Yeah, that one seems appropriate. That was the trick. Why should I pay you for ruining the illusion? I moved at the normal speed. It was your darn pattern that got too fast. Now you hand over that at 500 yen. No one tipped me for this performance, so I couldn't pay you even if I wanted to. Hey, why are you hanging around? What? Oh, you want to give me a tip? <laughs> I could never take money from a kid. The look of joy on your face is... Bingo! I completely forgot she was up there. How can you forget there's a dove on your head? So, you weren't trying to tip me, you were trying to remind me. Wait, does that mean that you're a magician? That's how you knew she was up there. I should have kept walking. With instincts that good, you must have hated my show. Maybe I'm not cut out for the magician game after all. 
Until a few months ago, I was just your average office drone. Then I made a small mistake. Oh boy. Corporate fat cats laid me off. Then my wife skipped town. Is it too late to walk away? With no job, I couldn't pay the mortgage anymore. One little mistake in my career, wife, and home had all disappeared. And then it dawned on me. I should become an illusionist. Things had vanished from my life. I thought it must mean that disappearing them was my talent. Your only talent is self-delusion. So even though I'd been offered another office job, I turned it down to start my new life doing street magic. Again, what? If I can save up one million yen, I can buy the sawing a body in half trick. Then my wife is sure to come back. Don't be so sure. But then I wonder if I chose the wrong path. Yes, yes you did. Now quit street magic and get a real job. Sorry, didn't mean to get so gloomy. What'll it take for him to give up? Let's get back to your background as an illusionist and how you knew I had a dove up there. That's it. Whoa, gonna pull something out of your bag? I'll do a trick that's so beyond his ability he'll realize how far gone he is and give up. You're gonna pull out a dove. Well, I'll have you know that I can do a bowling ball. <laughs> to say Trey Bien. At least this will make him give up. Thank you. Now I can see. If your talent was hair, it'd be a flowing mane while mine is just an eyelash. I don't quite understand using hair for that metaphor, but at least he's finally- Make me your apprentice! Should have seen this coming. I like watching TV. It's one of the few things that I don't know what's coming next. Speaking of next, that new mystery show is supposed to start soon. Tonight, you will witness a miracle! What? A stupendous, amazing illusion performed by the former homeless man turned master magician, Furyoko Chono! Now that's Trey Bien. What did I tell you about TV surprising me? After losing it all, he became a street magician and mastered tricks that others can only dream of! But this isn't just a surprise, it's unbelievable. How is a man who almost killed his dove good enough to be on TV? What I'm attempting tonight is the most dangerous escape you'll ever see! No way he's this good. But live or not, they'd never put someone on TV who might get hurt, right? As you can see, folks! Chono's hands and feet are both shackled as he makes his way to the crane! Oh no, he Just fell. a trip, he should be fine. He's safely inside the box. It was that Mr. Michael, Chono's formerly homeless assistant, will lock him in. Wait, I'm not ready! Him screaming isn't a good sign. Neither is all that banging he's doing. The amazing Chono needs to escape within five minutes or he'll be destroyed! Right along with the box! I'm skeptical he can do this. He's got three minutes left to escape! Should I help? I don't even think I can. I'm not close enough to jump in and save him without being seen. Two minutes! Just two minutes left! Then again, if he fails, he dies. And I can't have that. There's the life in that crate! We'll preempt all other shows until we can save him! It would ruin my night. If he fails, the coverage will cut into my mystery show. Is there a way to teleport in without getting on TV? Yes, the one place no camera can find me. That's right, inside the box itself. Now stop banging, I'm here to get you out. Yes, the trick's going perfectly. Not only was I able to escape, I was able to make it seem like I'm in there about to die! Well, he really has improved. Time's up! Mr. Michael will now use the swords! I gotta think fast. I can't just teleport back out. That power needs to be recharged for three minutes before I can use it again. Seventeen swords to go! Oh crap. This is the last one, folks! How could anyone survive this?! No one could, except me. I dislocated almost every joint in my body. I'm not gonna lie, it hurts. Now a construction crane is hoisting the box 30 meters in the air! And dropping it! Way to avoid certain death is to jump. Flawless timing. That box has sustained catastrophic damage, but we still have more in store for it. We're lighting it! To catch my breath. At least with all the hot weather lately, I've been able to hone my psychic powers over temperature. And now we're running over the crate! There's more. With the steamroller! Chono's box is as flat as a pancake! How could he survive that? Hold on! Who's that I see? It's the miraculous illusionist himself! Hey, Ryoko Chono! He's alive! How annoying. His wasn't the only great escape, but I got lucky. 
The soil was extra soft. I know, I said I like TV because it can still surprise me, but this is too much. Well, folks, that sure was some first-rate escape artistry. Très bien, right? Time to go home and watch my show. Hey, stick around for what's next, the world premiere of a mystery called Love Fantasy. My character will try to uncover the mystery of his girlfriend's death. Viewers are gonna love that the twist is I'm the killer. Enjoy the show! Never mind. Psyche, but for now, let's just say the world's in store for some pretty big changes. What? Did he make a friend? Thurizaz, Misa, Hagalaz, Soilo, um, Gebo, Fehu, Iwaz. You made it. I hope no one has followed you. The Jet Black Winds. Not to worry, Jade Eyes. I'm tail- Wait! There's something important you've forgotten! Sorry, sir, you're right! An energy field surrounds this room. If one doesn't perform the Holy Grail ceremony within 66 seconds, they'll vanish! That's right. Lagus! So have you come to terms with the truth? It's not that easy for me. It's like everything I ever knew was a lie! You say in a past life I was a top soldier in Dark Reunion? But then after discovering their plan to sort mankind, I stole the mystical stone panelized and went rogue? And then when they cornered me, I performed the phantom technique and became a disembodied soul? And then I entered the unborn body of Shun Kaido? It's not easy to believe all that! You seem excited by it. I'm not really! That's fine, so long as you're realizing the truth. I have always felt like there's something different about me from other kids. The powers of the spirit within you are apt to help you regain your memories. What we? Who else is here? There are four others at this table besides me. Of course, they are all phantoms. I take it you don't see them. If so, then you have no chance to help us. No, no, I see them fine. They're just not here physically, right? Uh, yes, they are here in spirit, but not body, like myself. Unfortunately, they don't trust you. Why's that? Because you haven't yet presented the sworn ally absolution. Oh, I got that right here. Whoa, such detailed answers. It's everything we expected and more from the Jet Black Wings. With this, they're sure to accept you into the group. Great! If that's all it takes, I'm already... What? Manas! Ingwas! Ingo! Um, what was that? Dark Reunion has found out about this room. <gasps> we are under attack! Uh, attack? They just killed the four phantoms. What? Phantoms can die? Yes, even phantoms can be killed. If we want to make it out of here alive, we need to act. Now help me create a barrier! Yeah, sure! So what do I do? Well, first things first. I need you to put any and all metal objects on you into that special bag. Metal can interfere with the barrier magic. Right! Even change? Yes. You know what? Just put your whole wallet in. Right. Great. Now repeat my movements. Okay. Ansu Zira! Uh, Ansu Zira! I was! I was! Looks like we got up the barrier. Oh, okay. Then can I have my wallet back? The barrier's still unstable. It's much too risky to remove it from the bag. But it's got my Thanks train for your pass. help, friend. If it wasn't for you, I would have died today with the Phantoms. Jet Black Wings, you're our savior! Oh, uh, sure, no problem. Come back same time tomorrow. And keep doing the sworn ally absolution. Yes. Hm. Savior, huh? I like the sound of that. I'll have to bring Psyche with me tomorrow. Red Kaido's stupid fantasies are the best thing ever! He couldn't tell the absolution was my homework. All I had to do was play along with him. I even got the idiot to give me his wallet! What a pain. <laughs> Dark reunion. Thanks for doing my homework. Kaido, as your one friend, I'm telling you to do a better job choosing your other friends. What the? Who did that? Dark reunion. <laughs> Don't tell a soul, okay? This meeting involves the fate of the world. Oh, it's open. <laughs> What's going on? That's the logo for Dark Reunion! Could it be they're only one step behind me? Pretty much. Hey buddy, ready for the beach? I was walking by and saw the last name Psyche on the mailbox, so I figured this must be where old Kuzo lives. <laughs> Kuzo, is this boy your friend? He's not my friend. Oh dear me! Sorry, girly girl, but me and him ain't what? friends. We're best buddies! Oh dear! My little boy is finally getting a normal life! I never 
knew you had a sister, pal. Oh, dear. He thinks I look young enough to be Koo's sister. How many times are you going to make her cry? Wait, what? I didn't know you were Psyche's mom. Guilty as charged. What brought you here, big guy? I wanted Psyche to come with me to the beach. Oh, that's so fun. Uh, yeah, I'm not going. Sorry. Your best buddy went out of his way to ask you in person. You're going to the beach, Kusuo. Oh, dear. And that's how someone like me ended up at a place like this. Why did Kaido come too? Uh, that, no! That's not true! I know how to swim, jerk! I'm not afraid of the water! Well, he's turned on the waterworks. Uh, water! <laughs> Drowning in inch deep water isn't easy. We'll save you! I know that, bud. Hey, it's Kaido. Oh, hey, Nendo. Hey, Psyche. You getting some sun too? Actually, I volunteer as a lifeguard. <laughs> I'll save you! that job for free in this heat. Hmm. When are you gonna get in the water, buddy? Just forget I'm here. You guys are no fun. I don't wanna go swim in the ocean all by myself. So, to the ladies. That sounds ridiculous. With a face like that, you don't have a chance. Odds at that. Oh, ho, ho. My looks don't matter. It's about attitude. I'm sorry. I find your face repulsive. Are you joking? There's no way I'm giving my number to that face. Ever hear of a mirror? You should look at one before leaving the house. Ah, don't run away! I don't want people knowing I'm with him. Oh, girls are stupid. <laughs> You're such a little cutie pie. What? Oh, I love his spiky hey, hair. Stop touching my hair and leave me alone. Go away. Mom, I just remembered I have to move my car. Yeah, me too. I'll save you! Why did you do this to me, Nando? Where'd my bro go? Bathroom? When I want to be alone or get some serious thinking done, I like to come down here. I find the seafloor relaxing. Granted, there can be weird stuff lying around, but it's not important. Psyche! You going deep? Oh, man. Next time I'll have to go deeper. Better go back before they start looking. <gasps> What's that girl doing? I think she's drowning! Kaido, I'll go rescue her and you go get Hayao! Hurry up! Oh, so you can swim. <laughs> Kaido? No, don't! Save her! I'll take care of myself! No way! I'm more than strong enough to save you both! I rock! Hey, need help? I can't take both! Can you bring one back? Yeah, that's why- Oh! Now I gotta do all three? <coughs> I'm sorry, dude. What a pain. Everyone around me is so needy. I'm so heavy! Don't crimp, bro! Leave me here! Shut up! Oh, crap! No, we're sinking! about how ugly your face is. I'm glad you didn't ask for her number in return for your heroics. I try to be a gentleman, but if that hottie fell in love with me, I'm not gonna turn her down. She wouldn't. What'd you say? But he did get a secret admirer. Ricky Nendo, you're my hero. I love everything about you. This guy. First day of a new term, which means now I gotta see those guys every day. Hyro, you got tan. Yeah, I volunteered at the beach as a lifeguard. No way. You got a crush on someone? Uh -huh. Huh? Hello, Hashi, is this is one of us? It's someone I ran into over vacation. I know he wasn't a figment of my imagination. It was the 6th of August when I first fell in love with him. That's a day you'll never forget either, Psyche. I remember seeing you that day too. Huh? And the guy you were talking with <gasps> was Nendo. You are way off, idiot! <laughs> His name's Yuri Off, idiot! He's a Russian exchange student, nope. you should get to know him! Hey, Psyche, just me or is Nendo acting weird today? Oh, you're the one being weird. Like usually? He's always saying, we should do stuff after school, buddy! He is quieter than normal. Hmm? Oh, my look? Don't worry about it. It's a long story. I'm not worried about it. I just think it's stupid. <sighs> What's that all about? Pretty fishy, right? My interest is peaked. All right, all right, I'll tell you. It all started. Stop it, I don't care about your new look. His house isn't this way. He's got something going on. Why are you so excited by this? And why are you so good at tailing people? Hey, 
Psyche, check it. What's Nendo looking at? <laughs> Creepy! Nendo has a thing for little girls? Doesn't look good. We should probably call the police. He's going into a store. Looks like a flower boutique. Don't tell me he's got a girl. <laughs> Another one? That's just gross. We'll confirm it after we call the police. No, we need more proof than this. I mean, lots of people like sunflowers, and it's natural to smile when you see a cute little kid, right? Good point. Let's not be rash. Mm, another shop. Cakes! Women and children can't resist sweet treats, so when you combine a woman and a child, you get a little girl! Now you're jumping to conclusions. Have you ever seen Nendo eat that? Or like flowers? It's all meant to be given to someone, but he has no girlfriend to give them to! That can only mean that they're fate! And that he's using them to lure away little girls! The girl it works on has her own problems. Bummer. They were all at a shortcake. Oh well. It's not like anyone will ever eat this. <sighs> if it's, it's not, not for eating, eating it, it must be bait! Nendo! Huh? Huh? Your secret's out! How huh? dare you hurt little kids, you monster! What does punches sound like? Wait, what secret? Do you mean my dad? What? He's dead? I visit on the anniversary of his bus accident. But the flowers and the cake. Respectful offerings to the dead. It's normal to bring cakes and flowers to a family grave. The thing, Nindo's lecturing us on normal. I get it now. Those weren't creepy looks he was giving. Seeing kids with their dads just made him think of his own. Nindo has a very misleading face. When did your dad die, Nindo? Well, it was before I was born. He died trying to save a little girl who'd run into- That means he was into little girls. Uh, hope not. <laughs> That's a dark joke. So if he died before you were born, he must have been pretty young. He was only 18 or 19 years old. Here, look. I got his picture. Hey, this is just a picture of you! No, it's him. My mom says I look more like him each year. Weird. You don't look like him, you're the same. I've seen pictures of Nindo's dad before, and they really do look like they could be identical twins. The only difference is that while Nindo has a scar over his left eye, his father had one over his right. Uh, that's not a real ghost, hey, right? Wanna go get some ramen? I know my powers are literally supernatural, but personally I don't believe in ghosts, so I'll pretend today at the graveyard never happened. It's for me. Weird, I never get mail. What? But don't worry, I intend to tell no one about you. I'm writing this letter because I wanted to tell you that I'm not your enemy, and that I want to be your apprentice. To tell you the truth, I also have unique abilities. It is because of those abilities that I came to know about you, Master. He's already calling me Master? I'll come to greet you in person sometime soon. Sincerely, your faithful servant. He's gone from apprentice to servant. But the real news is there's another psychic out there before he shows up. Psychometry. The ability to read a person's feelings and memories that have been stored in an inanimate object, like for example, this Shonen Jump. The printing process, major story spoilers, overworked writers, just touching it, I'm overwhelmed with all this, which is why I always wear extremely thin transparent gloves that help to keep this power in check. My psychometry only works when I touch things directly, but now the gloves are off, so I can see what this guy is... Wow, your house is really normal. This is too soon. Why even bother sending a letter? Ah, sorry. Where are my manners? My name is Reza Toritska, and it's a pleasure to meet you, Master. Let's see, I'm 16 years old. Ah, oh, but you know all that because you can read my mind. Anyway, it feels like I know you. I've heard so much about you from people. Well, from dead people. Did I forget to mention that part? That explains it. He's a medium. You can't see spirits, Master? Not unless you're one. Oh, good for you. I see about 15 right now. Really? That sounds like a lot. What, are they having a party? Nothing draws a crowd of spirits like a psychic. They're curious. There's an old lady hanging out up in that corner there. And right next to you is a guy bouncing his bare butt. But forget about that. The reason I'm here is I want to be your apprentice. Wait, he's doing what with his butt now? Don't worry, it's totally harmless. Harms my peace of mind. Oh, looks like he's gone now. Right. I'm sorry, but I don't really have any control over these guys. You're a psychic medium. Can't you just... Be gone! ...or something? Yeah, well, my abilities are pretty much limited to seeing ghosts and talking to them. I've had this gift since birth, when I was born into a temple. From birth? We're the same in that manner. When I was little, I couldn't tell the difference between people and ghosts. Then my beloved grandma told me that spirits can't take on physical form, so that's a good way to identify them. I was so relieved, I went to give her a hug, and that's when I discovered... Grandma was a ghost. That's dark. Yeah, I was pretty bummed, but my grandpa came to cheer me up. Except he was a ghost, too.
After that, I just started hugging people at random. A lot of them thought I was being creepy and gross, but really, I was just checking to make sure they were alive. That sketchy grin says otherwise. When it comes to powers, I really drew the short end of the stick. It's more of a burden than a gift with no upside. It's not true. By communicating with the dead, think of all the people you can bring closure to. Yeah, but is there any way I can get rich off of it? Ah, uh, gotcha. When I heard about you from my ghost friends, I knew I had to meet you. He said there was a guy with all kinds of powers like telepathy, x-ray vision, teleportation, clairvoyance, and psychokinesis. But you still cared more about the lady's bath, didn't you? Please, Psyche, make me your apprentice and teach me how to do all of your tricks! I'm begging you! Even if I could teach you these abilities, you'd just use them to do gross stuff, right? Look, I'm not gonna lie to you because I respect you and also because you can read my mind and would know that I was lying. Tell me, is that so wrong? That was too honest. I think clairvoyance could help me with peeping, too. Plus, I would have lift girl's skirts with psychokinesis and teleport. never seen a scumbag with such pure eyes. But these powers don't work how he thinks. People's voices flood into your head constantly. You see through things too well and can't touch anything without gloves on. You have no idea how hard it is. Being a psychic is suffering. Uh, guess I should be going now. Don't tell anyone about this, okay? But can I come and see you again? Just get out of here already. <laughs> Psychometry? I forgot to put my glove back on. When I touch other people, it's like their senses become my own. Uh, Master? Master? Is something wrong? Well, I guess we're both suffering. Last night, I had a surprise drop-in from... What was his name? Do you Toritska? Know about the cool new transfer student in the class next door? Really? <laughs> Ooh, can you tell me what my guardian spirit is like? She looks like a noble woman, and she's stunningly beautiful, just like you are. Oh, stop it! Do you mean my uh, Master! Thanks Could this be any more cliché? Hey, change school. Wait, hold on a sec. Chill out. Why are you so upset? Didn't I tell you I was going to be transferring to your school? No. Well, I assumed you'd know what with you being a psychic. Wrong. Oh, I think I get it. Are you worried I'm going to tell people about your powers, Master? First, quick... The perfect weapon. It dissolves in water, so there's no evidence. <laughs> I feel like a kid who just got beaten up by the school bully on his first day. You know, I don't get why you'd rather hide your powers. If you showed up what you can do, you'd get so much attention. That's exactly why. Then again, I guess it's kind of creepy to know someone's peeking into your brain. Wait, hold on. Forget brains. You can peek at other body parts too, right? Wow, so that means you can see all the girls naked any time that you want. Oh my god! <gasps> <laughs> you have another boy in love with me. Whoa, who is that beautiful angel who just glided past us? That's Teruhashi. She just walked by you for no reason whatsoever. You should thank her. Did you see all the nooks and crannies on her body? Come on, give me some details Please don't here! Be weird. Look, there he is! You see guardian spirits, right? Tell him I'm high. Well, Psyche, I guess I can make do with this. Ladies, ladies, I'll get to all of you one at a time. Hey, so what is a guardian spirit? Just like it sounds, a spirit that always watches over and protects you. Cool! So can you tell me who mine is? Your spirit is a samurai who looks like he can really keep you safe. Wow. Well, Yours is a fancy lady from Europe or somewhere else with lots of blonde people. Really? Me nuts, do me! Yours is... Uh, um, he's like a bard, maybe? Could be from France. Oh my! Hey. He might be in his mid-twenties. Has long hair. You see me, right? And he's really handsome. Yeah. Hey, tell me about mine. Yeah, me too. Oh, me first. Uh, let's see now. I'll do it, old hag, old hag, really old hag. Now yours is. At least pretend to care. Uh, have him check yours, Hydro. No, I don't have to. Uh, oh man, your guardian spirit's incredible. Huh? He's an intensely passionate man. Plays tennis. He's got boundless energy! I think maybe his name is He's not dead yet. Guardian spirit sounds dumb. Still, suppose it'd be rude not to hear you out, so tell me about mine or whatever. Don't care. He totally cares. Your guardian spirit... Oh, wow, it's kind of abnormal. Huh? What does that mean? Is it some kind of demon or monster or dark spirit? So, what is it not that I can't... Chihuahua! <laughs> Chihuahua? How right, dare he insult me like that? This guy's a fraud! You know, what's going on here? A festival? Now here's someone abnormal. Your kid says he can see guardian spirits, but he lies! Oh, cool! What's that? Now, now, no pushing. Everyone just wait your hey, turn. Hey, what's my guardian spirit? Nindo's guardian? Now that I'm curious about. Okay, let's see. Yours is a politician. Aw, oh, denied. Gotta say, I'm really happy I transferred to this what's school. I can already tell that I'm gonna have an awesome time here. Say, want to hear about your guardian spirit, Psyche? Me? I couldn't care less, but tell him what his is, because he's getting really annoyed. Ah, just shut up! I've told you not to follow me around everywhere! I hate you! Whoa, what got into you? Ow! What? You're not a ghost! You really didn't know? But 
all this time he's been following us. You never once acknowledged his presence. I thought you couldn't see, see him. Hey, what was that all about? Oh, wait. Oh, it's true. I see it all huh. back behind you. really him. can't tell the difference between the living and the dead. Psychic mediums sure have it rough. Hey, Psyche, there's something I've got to show you. But you'll have to touch me using your psychometry power, okay? I think when you see this, you'll understand why I was so confused before. Is that... Allow me to introduce my guardian spirit. I'm sorry, you really do have it rough. class rep and pillar of the community. Due to his kindness and strong leadership, everybody looks up to him. Although... But... First, I want you to bring it this far. We can only get stronger by pushing past our own limits. Come on! Great job! Don't give up! Keep going! You can do it! He's so positive it falls more on the side of obnoxious. Good hustle! Now it's time to push myself! I'm gonna carry it the rest of the way while doing bunny hop! Still, that's probably what inspires my classmates to follow his lead. Like Ooh, we should hop along with them! We don't have stuff to carry, but we can pretend! Yeah! Ah! 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 for your teacher's lounge! I don't hate him as a person, but the two of us probably wouldn't mix very well. Hey, Psyche, did you know that scientists say the average person sweats about 300 milliliters every night while they're sleeping? You're telling me why? Well, the school sports day is coming up, and I'm working on building the entry gate for it right now. Kudo was supposed to be helping me, but then he went and came down with a cold. You can't quit on me now! Feeding a cold is just a matter of willpower! You show that stupid virus who's boss! Never give up! You little monster! Really, it's almost done. All we have to do is connect the arch to the pedestals. So if you just give me a hand... <laughs> Pedestal! You were standing just fine yesterday! Hey! Come on, get up! Pep talks don't work on pedestals. What a pain. This is more than we can fix ourselves, so I'm gonna go Hold it right there, Psyche! We can do this! If we work fast, we'll finish before the last train leaves! Give me a break. You can do it! I believe in you! Don't give up! Take these! Give it all you got! Please stop. What a pain. Why am I even here? Never give up! Hard to figure out how much strength to use. Damn it! This is a catastrophe! We ran out of lumber! So we should give up? Oh, my give up already. Psyche, keep it up! I'm counting on you! Seriously? I could- How could you just abandon me? What part of never give up? Don't you understand? It'll be a lot easier if I work without tools, seeing as I'm not used to them. But it'll look suspicious if I finish too much. Might as well read a book while I wait. It's taking a long time. What's he doing? Is he slacking off? No, that's not like him. Guess I should try to find him. Clairvoyance. Ah, there he is. What's he doing? <laughs> Where the hell did he get that? The lumber shop may have been closed, but there are always lots on the ground! What's wrong with him? Did somebody tie him to a tree or something? I will never ever give up! You know, sometimes it really is better to just give up. Psyche's working hard right now, all by himself. I can't give up. I have to do this for him. I'm fine. Please, give up. What the hell? What now? The lock, there's something. It's covered in fun guy. Then just ditch it. No, I can't give up now. That's some slimy fungus. Hey, sorry it took so long, but don't worry, we can still finish my morning. Oh, you'll finish sooner than that. What are you guys doing here? We were doing after-school activities and saw you sliding by on an out-of-control log. Since you always help us out, we wanted to... Huddle up, guys! Let's Can we get go, started team. now? Stop the fun guy from breathing! It's all like crazy! Oh, hey, no slacking off! Yeah. We're finished! It's done! It looks pretty good! What a pain. I didn't think it'd take this long. Normal people have it rough, too. Though doing this kind of thing isn't so bad once in a while. Hey, but wait, why are we preparing stuff for the sports day now? It's still a month away, right? Hmm? Are you kidding? A month will pass in no time! Yeah, we don't mix it all. We're leaving, Q. Hold down the fort, okay? We'll be back around nightfall.
Right, they're going to a wedding. Someone from Dad's work. I don't understand why Kirishima's having his wedding smack dab in the middle of summer. This heat is unbearable. I mean, honey, don't you agree? It's even hotter outside. You guys are hot because you're clinging to each other. Anyway, Kusua, are you sure you don't want to come with us? You've met Kirishima before, right? Not interested. Sure, on the surface, it seems like a happy occasion full of joy. But underneath... Welcome to my misery. It's a hotbed of schadenfreude, pity, and jealousy. You know, a wedding. Her, poor guy. I'm not in the mood for any of that. Oh, well, that's too bad. You know your psychic powers would have livened up the reception. Those things are stuck. My powers aren't for your amusement. This place is a mess. Well, I guess I can help with the cleaning now and then. There's so much dust under the furniture. Seriously, how could anyone have let it get this dirty in here? I mean, really, it's a wonder we don't have bug. There was a cockroach. For the most part, I'm unshakable. But there's one thing I can't stand. Bugs. And it's not because they're gross or anything. Okay, well, maybe a little. But the real reason I hate bugs is I can't predict their moves. When it comes to telepathy, I can communicate with most of the animal kingdom, not just humans. But bugs are so small that I can't read their thoughts. I just can't get inside their tiny little bug brains. And sure, if I use psychokinesis, I could catch them easily, but I don't even want my psychokinesis to touch those icky critters. Okay, so teleporting to Texas may have been a bit of an overreaction, but as long as there's a roach in that house... <laughs> Zuzu, you have to bring some yukimi garlic chives daifuku, so be sure to answer the door! That's right. Mom's expecting a package, and I've already been gone five minutes. I have no choice. Gotta go home. The roach was downstairs, so I should be safe up here. What do I do when the delivery guy shows up? I'll have to go... All right, Dad's useless when it comes to bugs. What's that? There's a roach? Now, Mom, on the other hand, would scoop it up like an ace infielder catching a ground ball and toss it outside. You're out of here! Maybe I should bring her home using teleportation? He's here. Why do you have to come now? No, wait. This is actually good. Once I get the package, there's no need for me to be home. Soon as they leave, I can teleport far, far away. Only question is, how to get to the door? Oh yeah, nailed it! There was a Nindo. Okay, maybe I overreacted again. But first a cockroach shows up, then Nindo. Two small brain creatures whose actions I can't predict. Can you blame me for freaking out? I just can't seem to catch a... Of course. Why didn't I think of that? Granted, I only saw him for a second, but he had some kind of a... Ah, no problem. Just leave it to me, pal. Doesn't matter if it's one roach or a hundred, I'll get rid of them all. Great. Well, I'll be in Brazil, so just let me know when you're done. Ah, uh, there they are. There's two of them under there. <laughs> That's even worse. Can I lift this thing? Huh, a lot lighter than it looks. If it helps get rid of those monsters, I'll lend a hand. Uh, now there's nowhere to run! You're not supposed to let go. Anyway, take him outside and... Hey, you got any tissues? Well? I hate to say this after all your help, but could you leave? Like now? We're home! Whoa! It's so clean here! Wow, Koo, you tidied up while we were gone? You're welcome. Well, thank you, it looks great! Here, as a reward, have these chocolates they gave us at the went- Oh! Oh no, they went everywhere! and eventually she gave up on me. Thought she was going out with some other guy, but... He's got such kind eyes, the cheekbones of a prince, and fair skin that just glistens. I can't take my eyes off of him. Get them checked. No, bad, Chio! You have a boyfriend. But lately, the thrill is gone. We've lost our spark. Those beautiful words that first made my heart skip a beat. There's a rain of tears falling inside your heart. Please, let me be the maid to protect Takeru your says heart. says it so much, I want to scream. And when he finally gives that stupid metaphor a rest and says something Baby, else... let me be the little blue kickboard for your swimming heart so it doesn't drown in the great big ocean we call life. It itself. just sounds ridiculous. 
I see. Breakup season's come for you, too. And that's not even the half of it. His feet smell horrible, he chews food as loud as a cow, the way he holds his chopsticks is totally weird. He's always a jerk to store clerks. He's got the worst fashion sense, like and every it. time he laughs, he dislocates his jaw, which is a total buzzkill. These days, all I see anymore are his many, many, many flaws. Uh. Ordinarily, I couldn't care less about people's relationships, but considering her history, she may set her sights on me again if they break up, so I have no choice. I'll be the stand that protects their umbrella. Oh, man, so this hilarious. guy's talking to her, right? <laughs> I thought you were like... Oh! Oh! Uh, are you okay? Uh, yeah, I'm fine. My jaw got dislocated. Sorry. No. We're sorry for making you laugh. That really is a buzzkill. Oh, hey, by the way, Takaru, how's everything been going with your girlfriend lately? <laughs> Great. Nope. Wrong answer. Awful. Sorry to keep you waiting, but now that I'm here... Yeah, it's fine. I just got here, too. Now. Don't worry. So, want to do something? Whatever. All right, then. Let's do something. I can't stay out too long. He thinks this is going great. Want to hit the arcade? Nah. Well, is there some place you'd rather go? No, not really. This relationship's at Hakeru is already down to 57, <gasps> and it just dropped three points. And naturally, he forgot that today is our three-month anniversary. Ah, uh, girls make a big deal out of anniversaries. Even after all these years, mom still wants something special every month. So did Takeru remember? I feel so relaxed when I'm with you. You're like a massage chair for my heart! That's even worse. But I have no choice, so... Three months. Huh? Three months? Wait, what? Wow, you remembered our three-month anniversary? I'm so touched! Good. Uh, yeah, of course, and I got you something. Really? How sweet! His likability shot up. Does he have something for her? Oh, crap, I don't have anything! Of course not. Score! I've still got some of that squid jerky I was eating in class! I don't want squid jerky. Can I look now? I'm ready. No, you're not! Oh, how cute! A bunny! She was eyeing it in the window what? earlier. Huh? Good thing I bought it just in case. Like it? Don't worry, well, I'll take the money out of your wallet later to reimburse myself. I smelled squid jerky, and for a second I was afraid that was gonna be my gift. Like I would do that! Psyche continued to help Takeru out, trying to boost his likability score for Chio. And finally, it hit 90, a major milestone! I'm having the best time today! Right? Hey, let's grab dinner. Sounds good. The burgers there are okonomiyaki. Okonomiyaki. No way! You must have read my mind! I was just thinking about okonomiyaki! <laughs> his score's so high, I would now. Welcome, party of two. Oh wow, you can count! Now take us to our table, dumbass! Man, I'm starving! This is great! I can't take it anymore! Goodbye! Huh? Hey, wait! Alright, likability can plummet in an instant, too. Giờ chồng anh mỗi khi lạnh thăm là từng đêm nhớ em mùa đông năm nay vắng em ở đây vắng đôi bàn tay của người và bỗng thức giờ giữa đêm đôi mi lại ước nhẹ mùa đông ở đây khóc em đâu để cho mùa đông
feel love seeing what I've done with the place. My own hideout. I mean, a super secret base. I'd rather not. Psyche, where are you, bro? Since he helped me the other day, I thought I'd repay the favor by inviting him to the gym. Muscle! We can... If you want to repay my favor, Haido, you can start by leaving me alone. Where is Kunio's Psyche? It's not like I really care about him or anything, but the teacher said that I had to bring him this form. Although, it could be fun to ask him out to tea just to watch him get all nervous and flip out. He won't be able to think I'm an illusion if I corner him. <laughs> yeah, whatever. Why is today's episode so important? Because it's the season finale. Hey, buddy, wanna go get some ramen with your best friend? Leave me alone. I'm trapped. At school. Every route's blocked by someone I want nothing to do with. I could teleport, but then I wouldn't get to stop at the locker and take off my school shoes. Hmm. Well, I only need 30 minutes to get home. I'll wait them out. No one is leaving. Kaido's at the front gate. I won't leave till I get to think. Kaido's at the shoe locker. When Psyche's taking off his shoes, I'll jump out and scare him as a test of his reflexes. As for her... Excuse me. Hmm? Oh, wow! Hey, Teruhashi! Please help me find Psyche. I've been looking, but it's just too much ground to cover for a girl like me. Yes, yes, of course I'll help! Teruhashi and her worker drones are everywhere. Now I'm really screwed. Leaving is suddenly near impossible. And if you're wondering, oilers will flood into my head from people who have seen it. was all a dream. I totally called that one guy dying. Too many montages. It can't be helped. My only choice is to become invisible. This only makes it so people can't see me. I'm still here physically, able to interact with things. But there are some pretty big drawbacks. I can only do it for ten minutes, and if anyone touches me while I'm like this, I'll become visible immediately. I've got to handle this carefully. <sighs> that hit the spot. Better get back to finding my buddy. <sighs> that was almost game over. But knowing Nindo's location is a big help. His unpredictability is the biggest threat to this power. Now I just go in the other direction and lay low. Uh, where in the hell is that damn Psyche? Right here. For the sake of everyone watching at home, I'll make myself visible to you. How cute. The locker where Kaido's been hiding. Ah! Ah! What's wrong, Kaido? The ghost just lifted up the locker I was hiding in! No, wait, it wasn't a ghost, it was dark for you again! Slow down, nothing you're saying makes sense! Get me, Now's my it. chance. Hold on, I'll save you! Oh! What happened? I heard a scream! It's dark reunion, they found my hiding spot! Oh. Okay, oh, yeah. of course. Nindo's on the other side of the building, and the rest are right here. Now to just switch my shoes... Finally heading home, Psyche? I'll walk with you, pal. There he is! Uh, Psyche, I need to repay your favor! Our teacher asked me to get these to you! I have a layer now! You're, You're not busy, busy, are you? Teruhashi! Uh, so it's not just ghosts. You can see anything invisible. Psyche! Hello? Sports day. Listen up, guys. Today's about one thing. Us being number one! Let's do it! I was all set to skip school today, but... But you can miss sports day. Yeah, I bought a camcorder just for the occasion. They guilted me into coming. That's right. Look over this way, just like that. Oh, crap. The battery died. Go home. Class three, go! Boy, those yas are getting annoying. Sports day is so stupid. <laughs> My skills are best hey, for the first time ever, Kaido and I agree on something. You're just saying that because you suck at sports. Shut up! Wow, Nindo's headband seems completely at home. Oh, right, it looks exactly like the grooves in his hair. Yo, Zaki, hey! Oh, great. You pumped? I'm the opposite of pumped. And Nendo, you're a big guy. I expect big things out there from you, too. That's right. You're not beating me this time. We're all on the same team. And Kaido, my man! Just do whatever it is you can do. I'm sure you're going to try really hard. Pretty tough this year, guys. First, class one. Your symbol's a circle. Every student in this class is an intellectual. That's right! Yeah! In class two. Their symbol's a plus. Everyone in this class is a major athlete. Class two's gonna curb some. Yeah! Then there's class four. Their symbol's a square. More intellectuals, led by Tanihata, who aced his midterms. We compete for our immortal glory. They'd rather be reading. 
and class five. They got the star. They're intellectuals who wear glasses. And they all perfectly match our hair and face type. Is intellectual oh. your word of the day? Our first event, boys, 100 meter dash. Great, I'm gonna have to run. Make me your dash kill. I'm recording you, son, to a tape called My Heart. You can do it, Psyche, win it for class three. On your marks. I don't care about winning, because I don't want to draw attention to myself. <laughs> I'm in second place right now. That's a little too conspicuous. I'll just fall back into the pack. And that's the finish line! Perfect! Psyche. Holy crap, dude! You got third! Why is everyone so excited? All the other racers are on the track and field team! Yeah, the fourth place guy has a school sprint record! I wish I knew about this before. Not bad, buddy, though I'm pretty certain I could smoke you one-on-one. -on -one. Wait, that guy's running? Kaido's up next? Yes. On your mark! I am the wind! Set! I am shooting the gale! <laughs> you need to go back to running. We wound up tying for fifth place. We gotta get a win on the board and then time for me to go to work. No, it's not. I'm up. I'm running in the three-legged race, not you. And who are you? My name is Sawakita, but you don't have to bother remembering it. I'm just here to play a supporting role. Now he's narrating? From my grades to my looks, everything about me is average. I was born average. But then, winning a single rock, paper, scissors game brought a ray of hope into my life. I'm running the three-legged race with Teruhashi. It's a memory I can cherish for the rest of my average You're life. You're especially dramatic. Try your best, best Sawakita. Oh, wow. From my grades to my looks, everything about me is average. I was born average. But then, winning a single rock, paper, scissors game brought a ray of hope into my life. I'm running the three-legged race with Teruhashi. It's a memory I can cherish for the rest of my average life. <laughs> I bet that's what Amazing. he's thinking. She got it word for word. Are you certain you're not psychic too? I just hope he's not so focused on me that he loses. Let's win this together. Uh, yes! As sweet as I am, I'm also very competitive. If we win this, we should celebrate alone, together. On your marks! Set! Ah! Oh, hey, this was supposed to be the three-legged race! <laughs> I'm so honored to have witnessed your cherished memory. Yeah, let's keep that momentum going, guys. Sure, we'll talk about it later. Scavenger hunt race. I wonder which one of us is gonna do that. You are. Oh yeah, it's my turn. Come on, Nendo. Nendo. Slow, slow, Set. slow, 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 slow. Nendo is hot out of the gates. He's coming on. Ah. You didn't win yet, I got Nendo. Now go fight. Right, he's figured it out. Huh? Must be over here. Right here, let me have this. Yeah, sure. No, not the racket. This. Thanks. Psyche. <laughs> Psyche, wake up! Kaido, what happened? Uh, I don't know, he just fell over! Wake up, Psyche! No, wait, don't move it! Uh, Psyche? Psyche! Whoa, my bad! There's something wrong with his face! Status report, ISS! We're in trouble! The main power system suddenly went down! I've never seen anything like this happen before! What? Oh no! no. Oh my god! No, it can't be! Get me the President of the United States, now! What do you mean, Elder? I've had a vision of the future and the world will soon come to an end! Are you feeling okay? We were worried! You fainted when Nendo took that thing out of your head, so I tried to put it back. He pulled out my antenna? Huh? Is it back? Yeah, the power came back when I smacked the generator. Did what? Huh? Now all of our readings are normal. Director, the president's on the line. Whoops, sorry kids, false alarm. I was only out for a little bit. The doomsday scenario didn't happen. Oh, I almost lost my body. The real bad news is that Nindo's the one who did it. That makes him a danger. We'll have to eliminate him. Nothing I could have done about that one, guys. I mean, when your best buddy passes out, there are more important things in sports day. We'll get the next he one! He passed out because of you! And that's the end of our pointing events. Time for lunch! Well, pal, sounds like it's time for food. Hey, where'd we'll Psyche go? Psyche! Where are you? Psyche! I'm not feeling so hot. It doesn't matter if it was only out for a second. It's still causing me all sorts of problems. The antenna Nindo removed is a kind of control device. The psychic superpowers I was born with have only gotten stronger as I've grown older. By the fifth grade, I could already lift a high-rise with my mind. I probably could have blown up the moon if I wanted to, but all that psychic power is that much harder to control. Blowing up the house in my sleep is a best-case scenario. What's most worrisome is my mind control power. I could accidentally destroy the world with a single thought. It would make explosions seem like a day at the beach, so to restrain those powers, I wear these on my head. But it can only restrain my ability, not stop it. Underneath, it's always growing in strength. 
Once these antenna come off, I have no idea what will happen. I could really hurt someone if I keep participating in sports day. I've gotta go home. Psyche! Crap. Well, that's my cue. Teleport! Hello! Huh? Doing some private stretching? It's not working. My powers are messed up. Hey, you alright? Maybe you should go home early. That might be my opening. Sorry to hear you're sick, bro. Need help getting home? How are you feeling? Drink lots of liquid. Yeah, we're gonna win the afternoon events in your honor. Just go home and relax. Don't no, say wait, that. We're losing now. Let's win it all for Psyche! Yeah! I'll never forget what he did for us. Well, now I can't leave. Let's hear it for the amazing Trono. No one watched us today. We've been on a losing streak ever First since that TV the special. All right, guys and gals, these are the team events. While we may be at the he bottom didn't do of the any board, individual events, now. did he? That's about to change! Pull, <laughs> pull, pull! Clench your teeth and pull that rope! Squat and lead back! Squat and lead back! Squat Stop lead talking back. and pull. I don't even like Jim when I'm healthy, and now I've got to do a tug of war like this? <clears throat> oh. Oh, it suddenly got light! It's got a stall. Whoa! No, it's heavy again! Why did it snap so easily? Oh well, I bet I can fix it before anyone notices. Alright, this shouldn't be too hard. Oh crap, again? The friction tore my gloves. I don't know what'll happen if I use psychometry now. Class 3 wins. Alright, we won! I knew I should have skipped school today. Sports day is the worst. Class 3 is crazy! We're not crazy, we're just the kings of sports day! Battling real people's kind of fun. I don't remember eating lunch. Is torn right where I was holding it? Am I that strong? I've never seen them so cocky. The dark side of class not 3. not cocky so much as stupid. After the tug of war, class 3 manages to move up to fourth class. Still two more events. Even if you did, you would still be doing terribly. Class 2 is gonna beat you hands down! Eh, couldn't care less. Hey, you respect us for being number one! Again, I don't care. I came in last in a three-legged race, but it was worth it. I can't believe you're bragging about how that went down. Just don't hold a grudge when we win. For the last time, I don't care about who wins. Sorry, Grover, but Class 3's winning this. In fact, if we lose to you, I'll buzz cut my hair! There's no way. Yes way! That's how much I believe in us! Please don't. Yeah, if we lose, we'll all get a buzz cut! Slow down. You can count me in, too. Of course, there's no way I'll let us lose. Where are you getting this confidence from? I went in on this buzz cut bed, too. In your case, a buzz cut's an improvement. Well, I know what's next. We all share in the glory or every guy in class three will get a buzz cut! We are gonna look, it's gotta be at this Our event. Our big comeback starts now! All the classes are cousin back! There's a time limit! Hold them all at once! You're not getting anywhere near the hoop! I'll stop the beanbags right above the basket for a split second and drop them. He is still throwing them and the rule book says nothing about using psychic powers. All right, that's time! Class 1, 33 feet back! Class 2, 20 feet We tripled them! I might have overdone it. That's 100! It's not that difficult if you use your head. Just look. What the hell is that? Well, what does it look like? Everyone in Class 4 put all his bags in one larger bag. That way, we threw 100 in the basket with one toss. Wow. Smart. That's not smart. That's just cheating. Now, now, guys, don't go using the C word. The rules say nothing about putting all your bean bags in one big bag. Well, they should. <sighs> but there's still one last event, the Interclass Relay Race. And whichever team wins this one will get a whopping 500 points added to their overall total score. Psyche. I want you running the anchor leg. If I say no, things will only get more difficult. I'll just finish third again, like I did in the first race. On your race. marks! Set! Go, Fredo! I am not gonna lose! Class 3 is already qualified! They're the last... I tried! Oh. Thanks for nothing, Kaido! Class 3 is the last to pass the baton! But Nando's unusual stride is closing the gap! Class 3 is winning the leg! It's even creepier at high speed. Right, the next lap is Tenahashi, the running guy! That's right, boys. I can run fast, too. After all, I'm the perfect pretty girl. And so, Class 3 maintains their lead, finally passing the baton to Hyro, their last runner before Psyche. Great work, guys. Now to just get this to Psyche. Yeah. show it at some point. At least it won't look suspicious now when I finish in last place. We're totally gonna win now. Nothing wrong with tripping someone if no one sees you. Well, now that changes everything. You should have kept quiet. Sorry, I fell! It's not your fault, it's his. <laughs> 
payback what time. What the heck? This guy's flying! Oh, the is the He's the 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 attention, but this way I at least avoid getting a buzz cut. Alright, I'm having trouble controlling my body. And so, the next morning... My name is Kusuo Psyche, and I have psychic Looking superpowers. Good, buddy. Shut up, Haido. Hey, Psyche. Boy, you win all out. What's going on with your hair? It looks so weird. We have the same cut. What's up, guys? We're them, right? Oh, wow. Psyche Kusuo! Psyche Kusuo! All right, everyone, listen up. Today we're doing a safety drill. Safety drill? Okay. I don't need a drill, I'll be fine. Nendo, you need to take this seriously. Imagine this room's on fire. White hot flames are everywhere. The smoke makes it impossible to see, let alone breathe. So what then? You got an escape plan? How will you know what decision to make if you don't participate in this drill? Preparation is the key to survival! You're as hot and smothering as a fire. So when the alarm goes off, follow my lead and evacuate to the courtyard. Okay! Here's an easy way to remember the correct procedure in any emergency. What sauce? If I remember correctly from grade school, it means slow, orderly, and silent. I know what that stands for! Save ourselves! S.O.S. That's terrible. Yeah, that's the plan, but it doesn't mean- It's not that! How about someone over here save You're me! You're on your own, pal. <laughs> Each of your guesses is dumber than the last one. <laughs> Alright, do you know what it means, smart guy? Of course I do. Obviously, it stands for Scorching Oblivion Smackdown. Hey, I'm joking. It stands for slow, orderly, and silent, right? Yep, you got it. Now, everyone, just remember those simple- Lab is on fire. The alarm Please sound always makes me so nervous. This is important. Huh? We should pay attention. Stay calm, everyone. Open your bag and get your safety hood. Stand in line after that in order of student number. Where's my hood? Is this Put it? this on first or last? Oh, crap. I'm pretty sure I left my hood at home. Seriously? If this was an actual fire, I'd be sleeping smoldering ashes! Don't be dramatic. Oh, no, I can't seem to find my safety hood What? Either. Oh, come on, not you two! Uh, use my hood, Tenerashi! But if I take all of yours, then you'll die! She's right, this is not a safe plan! Sacrifice. Ourselves, too. Save her. Oh, okay. Say nary a word, all bring theirs to me, slaves of love! Okay, <laughs> let's move out. Hold on, I forgot my phone. Stop, Takahashi! Out of line is too dangerous! Stay in place! Everyone's trying way too hard with these SOS abbreviations now. It's all I'm hearing. Stop it, guys. Obviously, it's not the time for stupid fun. See? They're everywhere. Oh, Shio, hi! Uh, oh, hey, wait! Splitting up with a guy in the same school is overwhelmingly awkward and seriously tough. This doesn't even have anything to do with the drill. The ex-girlfriend I can't forget. She's oblivious to my suffering. Why are you doing this? Okay, gang, we're almost down. Stop! Stop, everyone! Our path leading out shuttered before us! Seriously? Oh, come on. Screw it, we'd be dead! Someone closed it by mistake? No, this route has been closed with good reason. The science room is directly in our path. Remember the intercom announcement from earlier? The first floor science lab is on fire. In this drill, the lab is on fire. If this was real life, the hallway would be impassable. In other words, they're testing to see how well we paid attention and if we made the safer choice of going down the back stairs, which we didn't. Stay calm. Obviously, there's a solution to get outside. Yes, that's it! I understand why they locked us in. Well, better late than never. They're testing our physical strength. Yeah, that's the only explanation. We don't have to send out an SOS if we can overcome obstacles by ourselves! Which means to get out, we must break down that shutter! This is a fire drill, not a movie. Alright! Let's bring it down, boys! Ah! 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 In a real fire, they'd be the first to die. So? You wrenched open a metal shutter and ran out the front door! I see! Why would you animals break our new shutter?! We literally installed it last week, losers! So what are you gonna do? Obviously you're idiots! Shutters are expensive to fix! We're sorry! I tried to warn them. Well, not directly, but still. Anyway, this school doesn't actually even need to bother with emergency drills. After all. Life sucks. So long as I'm here. All getting buzz cuts! Uh-oh. I face a difficult decision. This is the coffee jelly I normally buy. 
This brand is 183 yen for a three pack, which is a great deal. If it's that much for three, then each one's just 61 yen. Eating two would only cost 122 yen, which is still less than one of my usual jellies. Two 61 yen jellies versus 138 yen jelly. Which option promises the most satisfaction? Gotta be this kind. I'll get two times as many, and quantity beats quality. Huh? Net weight. That's right. Just as I thought, each container in the three pack's smaller, so it's not double the amount after all. Sneaky. In this case, this brand's quality makes up for slightly reduced quantity, and obviously quality beats quantity. I got 3,000 yen for my allowance, so <laughs> I can buy 21, enough to cover the surface of my desk. But wait, if I go with the other brand, I can buy 16 packs, and that times 3 is 48. I could make a bed out of them, or give one to every member of a certain overpopulated idol group. Thanks for the coffee, Jelly Saggy! Should I get the three pack after all? Is it just one serving? And they're charging almost 3,000 yen for it? That's obscene. Who would spend that much money on a coffee jelly? I would. What was I thinking? Not to mention it's only 55 grand, 48 cups of the kind in the three pack. I mean, coffee jelly is coffee jelly. One kind can't be that much better than any other. But with that price tag, it's gotta be pretty good. And if it's not, well, considering that I just blew my entire monthly allowance on it, I could just destroy their factory. Anyway, I need to get home fast. Walking around with a 3,000 yen coffee jelly, I'm practically begging to get mugged. Should I teleport? No, people would notice. I could teleport just the coffee jelly back to my house, but that can get a little complicated. When I want to transfer an object to another location in return, I have to apport something of equal value in the same place. Oh no, the jelly! Psychokinesis! You're safe. I'm real sorry, sir. Are you okay? Yeah, I'll be fine. But I can't say the same for you after what you did. Sorry, the kid On second know thought, I'll let you off the hook if you just go away. What? You know this guy? How do you always show up at the worst possible time? Uh, hey, did you see where my ball went? Mm, no luck. But it can't have gotten too far, right? Actually, it did, which is why I'm looking for it using clairvoyance. Uh -oh. It's not working. Can't locate it. Sorry, kid, I give up. True, I'm the one who sent it flying, but it was your fault for throwing it at me in the first place. I'm gonna head home now and enjoy this coffee jelly. I can buy you a new one. No, it has to be that ball. Right, so it's really special to me. I see. Well, in that case, we're sure as heck gonna find it. And I promise you, we'll all keep looking till we do. Thank you, sir. Oh, but it looks like your friend already left. What? What a pain. This thing's so lost, I had to use photography. Ah, it's in the water. Clairvoyance won't help me get it, then. Gotta try something else. Maybe I can apport it. To bring the ball here, I'll have to exchange something of equal value. Think this stuff ought to do it. A port. You know, that ball was signed by Negishi. Who's Negishi? He's a baseball player. Are you serious? That's awesome! Is it worth a lot? If I remember right, Grandpa said he saw a ball just like it on the internet going for 3,000 yen. I see. So that's why. <laughs> you found my baseball? Oh, well, there you are, buddy. Wow, thank you, mister. I can't tell you how glad I am to get it back. It's oh, well. I can always buy that coffee jelly some other time. <laughs> but for him, there will never be another ball like that. Oh, coming! <sighs> A little boy and his older sister came by and dropped these off. They said they wanted to thank you for the other day. Did you do something nice for them? I guess it's good to do good sometimes. Takaru, you been to the house of fortune telling? Yeah, it was great. They said me and Chio would make up and find happiness. Well, both fortunes can't be true. How naive. Fortune telling's a ridiculous fantasy concocted by false prophets trying to prey on the weak-minded. Wow. For once, you and I agree on something. Anyway, forget about that. There are more important things happening. Come with me after school. Haven't you noticed? There's a strange aura and dark reunions behind it. That's I just a ridiculous fantasy you concocted. You Don't you have anyone else you can ask to go with you? But hey, did you hear about the new telling of fortunes, it's huh? It's called the House of Fortune Telling, and I'm they sick of hearing about it. They sell before street date at the bookstore next to I it. They shouldn't do that. Hmm? So that's the House of Fortune Telling? Well, how was it, Kiyomi? Okay, get this! They said they can't tell Yamazaki's fate is Well, as long as it makes them happy, I guess that's all that matters. Kaido? What's he doing here? I don't care about fortune. 
fortune telling, but if this person really is a prophet, then it's possible Dark Reunion would target them. I've got to scope out the situation. I don't care about his excuses, but their fortune telling seems they suspicious. Said I'm gonna go out with Kento Yamazaki. Kento Yamazaki's got two girlfriends now. Next in line. Well, I'm already here. Might as well check the place out. Welcome to the House of Fortune Telling. Please have a seat. Okay. This place is so cliche. My name is Mikiko Clairvoyance, and it is a true pleasure to advise. She seems kind of shady. Maybe she's just a normal person after all. <laughs> Looks like he's not impressed either. Oh my. I'm getting a very special aura from you. <gasps> You're no ordinary boy, are you? I sense you have special... This energy. woman's the real deal! You're hopeless. And since you reacted like that, now she sees right through you. <laughs> so he's got a hero complex. This will be almost too easy. I'm picking up that there's something troubling you, is that right? <gasps> How did you know? People without troubles don't come to places like this. <laughs> Let me tell you what it is. A romantic dilemma is not the problem, so concerns about school or your future are also not what is troubling you, but a relationship with your friends. <laughs> yes, I'm getting a strong sense that the source of your distress has something to do with friendship. How did you You make know? it too easy. Yeah, you're right. That is absolutely the source of my distress. You see, I'm secretly a superpower. What is this idiot blathering about? I ask myself that every day. I discover the truth about the organization. Yes, I understand. I'm used to fighting evil, but fighting the solitude? That's the hardest part. I have no friend. I mean, comrades that I can rely on. He kept spouting nonsense, but the gist is... His problem is that he can't make friends. You're searching for someone who can understand you, am I right? But that's the wrong approach. Huh. Must she makes some valid points. Seems I may have judged her prematurely. This will help, too. No way! If you wear that, you'll be able to make friends with a hundred people, including dreamy movie star Kento Yamazaki. Is Kento Yamazaki her word of the I'm day? sell it to you for only 30,000 yen! What? It costs how much?! Seriously? What a scam. Why do I even bother with him? Will this make Psyche my friend, too? As long as you wear that, this Psyche person will always be your friend and greet huh? you with a hey, pal, Which every day. Which Psyche are you talking take about? It. <laughs> what a moron, going on about some shadowy organization. All right, next in line. I don't really care what happens to him. Have a seat. But she made a mistake him. dragging me into this. <laughs> a hundred friends? I gotta remember all their names. I know! My first new friend! Here, take all your money back. I don't want it! Everything you said to me was real! Uh, what about the necklace? Keep it! I bought it at a street fair for 500 yen. What?! I don't want him thinking that Necklace has the power to make me his friend. He should learn how to make friends on his own without relying on trinkets like that. What? Oh, hey, buddy! And hey, Runt! It works. This is great! Huh? Another plan ruined because you showed up. Uh, uh, uh -huh. ah! Oh! Say Oh! Hey, are we there yet? Somehow I'm stuck with these guys again. Hoshi! Oh, what are you boys up to today? Well, Nendo said he knew of a good ramen shop, so he's taking us there now! Yeah, we're gonna big I mean, eat like gentlemen. Oh, ramen sounds good! Do you guys mind if I invite myself to tag along with you? Oops, I hope I'm not being overly pushy. Yeah, I don't have a problem with it. Do you have a problem with it? Sure! Seriously? Oh, wow, just oh, look at her. I let my guard down. Teruhashi's my most formidable opponent. Normally, Nendo just stands around with that stupid look on his face, but... I must admit, I never pegged you for a ramen girl. Who are you? And Kaido's even worse. Say, Kaido? Uh, yeah? You always have those bandages on your hands. It's to keep my powers under wraps. Uh, powers? Sorry, I'm afraid I don't understand what powers you <laughs> It's actually just something that happened by accident. He's suddenly cured of his hero he complex. It's really creepy, but this is the reaction Teruhashi always elicits from people. You're so excited, though it's only natural given that they're about to have a meal with me, the cutest girl in the world. But then why is he still acting so blasé about it? Kunio Psyche, why don't you say, oh wow? When you see me, your reaction should always be, oh wow. Oh, what does that even mean? There's no way my wiles wouldn't work on a quiet dork like him, who's always got that annoying, far-off look about him, and probably has a scary dark side, and has that intriguing air of mystery with a penetrating gaze that can see right through. There is something wrong. <gasps> oh no, my face gave me away! That's it! I'm making it my mission to turn up the charm and get him to say, oh! Great, I'm drawing her attention. Don't want her following hmm. I think I might have a solution. Ah, we've arrived. There's the ramen shop. Stop making that face. Oh, wow. We're not actually going in there, are we? I hear that ramen's like crazy. No, no way! I can't! My friend's cousin's ex-dog walker said it's good, so it's gotta be good. What, is this like an urban legend or something? I can't go in there! This is me we're talking about! I mean, of all the places they could have brought me to take me to this Just as I thought. 
She'll split without even going in. But the urchin just came up, so I'm going home. What? Because of that, she'll be less likable in their eyes, and they'll stop saying, oh, wow. What's her problem? She thinks she's too good for this thing. I guess she's not like us common folk. And once her pride is wounded, Teruhashi will leave me alone. What's with them? They're impossible. Forget that. And that's how it'll go. Tom, something urchin just came up. Something urgent just you out of your so mind, I'm man? She's got class. There's no way she's gonna eat at a place like that. You don't really want to eat in this rundown rat hole, do you, Teruhashi? I'm okay with this place. I can't go home now. They'll think I'm stuck up in high maintenance. Whoa, Kaido, sure okay why do you have it? to push her? Though I must say, her commitment to playing the perfect woman is pretty impressive. Uh, of course, there's no way the inside could have possibly been clean. What was I thinking? Uh, what is this place? It's filthy. Hey, seriously, don't feel pressured to stay. I'm fine. I'm not. Taste is what matters. She's so cool. You're totally right. I've spent 16 years carefully crafting the image of a girl with perfect appearance and personality. I can't burst that bubble in front of him. Besides, I have to keep alive the dream of all 7 million people on Earth. Yo, Mr. Manager, four ramen, please. Four ramen coming up. Oh, wow. Slob is the manager here? That disgusting monster who possesses every trade I find repulsive? Is he gonna prepare our food? No, it can't be. I bet he's just giving her order to the first class chef in the kitchen. Quit dreaming. Here you go. Ha! Noodle time! <laughs> oh, wow. Pretty much what you'd expect from the shop's appearance. There goes my plan to tank her likability. She can't eat this. No one can. <laughs> I have to eat it! They won't call me the perfect woman if I leave the food that's been served to me untouched! And I can't disillusion seven billion people! She'll go that far just to play the perfect woman, then maybe she actually is perfect. I feel sick. My name is Reita Taritska, and I'm a psychic medium. From the time I was born, I've been able to see ghosts. People think ghosts are scary, but they're not. Hey. They're actually really not hey. helpful. Thanks. See, ghosts are completely harmless. I guess what I'm trying to say is... The powers of a medium are pretty great, and if you play your cards right, they can lead to world domination. Hey, you there! Are they searching kids' bags at the school today? You mean PK Academy? In fact, they are. Knowledge is power. With ghosts as my eyes and ears, there's no information beyond my reach. And he who controls the information controls the world. What kind of filth are you bringing to school? All I'm doing is using my natural gifts to get ahead in life and achieve a little happiness. It's no different than what rock stars and athletes do. Hey, can I ask you to do one more favor for me? Sure, you name it. There! Tell me what color her panties are! I can't do that. It's an invasion of her privacy and super creepy. Well, see you around. Like I said, ghosts are really nice, so of course, they refuse to take part in dirty deeds. In any case, the benefits of being a medium don't stop there. So Hello, ladies. Oh, what should we do? I've got some time on my hands if you want to hear about your guardian spirits. Chicks are totally into this spiritual crap. Uh, maybe I should start a business with these powers. I can make a fortune. This is a ceremony to exercise evil spirits. For your own safety, please remove all of your clothing. Whatever you say. He's already told me everything there is to know about Pine. Oh, you should have him do yours. Uh, I'm not into that spiritual crap. Forget guardian spirits. There's something we want to ask you. Her gym clothes went missing. Do you happen to know anything about that? No, I don't know anything. I've seen him. That's it. I'll find those gym clothes for you. What? I don't get it. How are you going to find them, guardian spirits guy? Yeah, how? Do you have any leads, guardian, guardian spirits guy? Well, first, the name's Taritska, and I do have leads. There are ghosts all over the school, and they know everything that happens here, so I can ask them what they've seen. Hey, ghost, let me ask you. I'm looking for this girl's gym clothes. You know where I might be able to find them? What kind of sick stuff are you going to do with those clothes when you get them, Herb? You got the wrong idea. She asked me to track them down. Oh, whoops, sorry about that. Then yeah, I saw him. When and where? Not too long ago, if I remember right. I think it was when I was goofing off floating inside your vice principal. Is that fun? Eh, not really. Anyway, I saw a boy walk by carrying a girl's gym bag. Seemed odd at the time. So the clothes were stolen? <laughs> this story just got a whole lot more exciting! When word spreads that I solved a robbery, I'll be a hero! I heard he caught a thief all by himself! That's amazing! I hope he's single! Oh, that is so handsome! <laughs> My dream knows no bounds! That's him! Up right there! You're the guy from this morning who- I'm that troubled boy's guardian spirit. Leave him be. So you're okay aiding in his dirty deeds, but not mine? I beg you. You really gonna stand in my way? Well, as his guardian... Okay, then. No, stop it! I'll do anything you want. Please just leave him alone. Anything? That's right. I can tell you people's weaknesses, help you cheat on tests, get you whatever information you desire. All you have to... Stop. 
Really? Why? I'm not gonna lie, I was tempted. But see, there's this super scary psychic roaming the halls of this school. He's kind of a goody two-shoes, and he sees everything that goes on here, even what's in people's heads. If he found out I'd let a clothes-stealing creep get away with that just so I could do bad things myself, he'd blow me up with his mind. And besides, I know you're just doing whatever it takes to protect the kid you're sworn to watch over, so I'd feel guilty taking advantage of you and making you compromise your values. Plus, I just really want to be a hero. Hey, come on, Wait, you Wait, don't do this! He's a good kid! He's not here, but that girl's gym clothes still are. He probably jumped out that window there when he heard you coming. Ah! Those are Adiyoshi's clothes, so it really was you who took them all along. I thought it was suspicious the way you were freaking out earlier, you perv. No, wait. You've got it wrong. Ah! Sorry, I really appreciate you taking the blame for it. What was I thinking? My power suck. Being a medium is the worst. Aw, oh, cheer up. Just this once, I made it a point to check the color of those poor girls' panties for you. Though, <laughs> that's probably small comfort to you. Being a medium is awesome! Was an eye in this episode. Within 0.2 seconds of waking up, I realized that my supernatural powers were gone. First off, I don't hear voices. Normally, as soon as I wake up, people's thoughts come flooding into my head, making me wish I could sleep through the rest of my life. Like, how? My punch didn't even make a crack. Usually it would obliterate the wall and everything else seven kilometers in that direction. I've been freed from the curse that is my psychic powers. Finally, I'm free! Uh, and point two seconds later, I realized it was all a dream. Morning already? Well, another day closer to death. Well, of course. Nah, I probably shouldn't. What a disappointment. This morning is the worst. Plus, I had that dream, and now I've got a killer headache to boot. Whenever I have a dream followed by a headache, my precognition powers kick in. They allow me to see what happens in the future, and by allow, I mean force. Unfortunately, that dream wasn't foretelling that I would lose my powers. No, it foretold the explosion. Fine. I guess I'll have to save some lives before breakfast. This must be the place that blew up in my dream. My house is right around the corner. I only take action when things are going to personally cause me harm or inconvenience. If my actions happen to also save other people, so be it. But generally speaking, that's never my goal. I've saved the world and mankind six times so far. Though only because my own existence was threatened. But back to this explosion. Well, there you go. Crisis averted. You may think I'm kidding, but I'm not. An accident usually happens as a result of a specific series of events, so one tiny change can lead to an entirely different outcome. A minute from now, a high school girl will run this way. She's wearing a miniskirt, even though it's the dead of winter. She'll slip on the rock and tumble violently into the air, almost like she's doing a somersault kick. This maneuver will send the rock flying straight towards an oil tanker. At that very moment, the driver will lower the window to talk to the gas station attendant, and the rock will hit him in the head. He'll fall forward as he passes out. His foot will press the gas pedal. The tanker will move forward, crashing into a gas pump. Gasoline will leak everywhere. Meanwhile, the girl who slipped on the rock will have landed in a less than ladylike pose. That hurt. Just then, a man on a scooter will pass by, his attention diverted. As a result, he'll wipe out on the spilled gas. The scooter will slide into the gas station, which will lead to a big explosion. So that's what would have happened. You get it now? The accident was going to be caused by a series of unlikely coincidences, like the kind you see in manga. If the schoolgirl wasn't running, then she wouldn't have tripped on that rock landing bottoms up. If she'd worn sweatpants under her skirt, the perv on the scooter wouldn't have wiped out. <laughs> Nothing to see here. Then there's the truck driver, who if he'd only rolled down his window a second later, wouldn't have been hit by the rock. Or if he'd had even a modicum of skill, he could have caught it. Nice try. No matter how big an accident is, it's always triggered by something minor, and so a minor change is all it takes to prevent it. It was easy this time since I saw the whole thing in my dream, but normally I only see part of it, which can make my job much harder. <laughs> this time, all I saw was the end result. Seriously? Hey! Huh? Where'd this rock come from all of a sudden? Huh? Could it be? Yes! It's definitely a meteor from outer space! Sir, I brought all the kerosene for the heaters in from the shed! Oh, thank you. We don't need all that! We're not trying to turn the teacher plans into a sauna! Sorry, sir. Let me take some back! I'll buddy hop it! That's not necessary. Just leave him in the hallway and I'll take care of it. You got it! Hey, run! Check it out! You ever seen a meteor before? Isn't it amazing? It's from outer space, you know. It's not a meteor, stupid. It's just a plain old rock. Hey! What are you doing? You might have hit someone. There's no one there. Crap! I overslept! And I've got classes to duty today. I've got a book if I'm gonna make it on time. I know they say never run in the hall, because you might trip and fall, but I have no choice to trip! See? It's always something minor that triggers an accident. He is so 
so cute. Come here, kitty. People often like to ask, are you a cat person or a dog person? My answer is, I don't care. No matter how cute the cat is or friendly the dog, to me they just look like this and this. So if I asked you, do you like the bones on the left or the bones on the right, your answer would be like mine. I don't care. Now you might choose a pet based on the impression they give, like this dog seems loyal or this cat seems really loving. Don't touch me so casually, female homo sapiens. That's what he's really thinking. See, since I can also read animals' minds, I have no preconceived notions of their feelings. Summer or winter, winter. Mushrooms or bamboo shoots, mushrooms. But with cats and dogs, it's like asking whether I like the name Sato or Suzuki. I just don't care one way or the other. Man, that is one cold human! Sees a beauty like me in a vine and totally flakes! Wait, he's coming back? Yes! Now get me out, and I might let you pet me! Don't you dare walk away from me again! Alright, fine. Stupid dumb human! Maybe he's a dog lover! I wasn't before, but now you're making me lean toward them. Anyway, do you want my help, or do you want to keep insulting me? What is with this dude? His mouth doesn't move, but I keep hearing him! Of course you do, I'm speaking directly to your brain since I don't know how to speak cat. Is he for a cat? Meow! I'm not. What? So then you're just a cruel human! No, I just want you to say please instead of ordering me around. Okay, okay, help me! Do a good job and I might even be your friend! What? Wait, hold on! I'll make another offer! Get me out and I'll let you pet me wherever you want for three whole minutes! You can even touch my paws! And he's gone! No, come back! You didn't even hear the part about getting to scratch my chin! How can someone in your position help me? Please help me? Are you joking? Don't you know who you're talking to? I am the mighty cat, the proudest, most elite creature on the earth. When you're at the top, you don't need to beg or be polite with lowly humans. What is he talking about? Just because you walk on two legs doesn't mean you get to ignore reality. If you haven't noticed, it's you guys who give us food while we lie around all day. And that's not all. When we mess up the house, Seriously? we're forgiven. We turn off your super play box, Seriously? we're forgiven. Even when we spill ink on your manga the day before it's due, we're forgiven. The world revolves around us, cats. I am your mighty Pharaoh. Now do as I say. Hey, wait. Get back here. How many times are we going to repeat this? Just leave me alone. It's your fault for disrespecting me. I'll only say this once. Huh? You're not getting another chance. Say please or else I'm leaving you stuck here forever. I just can't get through to him. Who does he think he is speaking to me that way? Doesn't he want to pet me? I bet this guy's bluffing. He wouldn't leave a cute little kitty like me trapped between two buildings. He wouldn't. He would. He is. All right, all right, you win. I'll say it. Please. Please help free me. Are you happy now, jerk? There is nothing cute about this cat. <sighs> all right, you're free. What's this guy steal? No, what's he doing? <laughs> Always in a pet. You may pet. What? He's leaving! I'll never forgive you for this stupid human! Hey, I'm home. Welcome back, honey. Your dinner's already on the table. Oh, great. Oh, what's with your belly? <sighs> what are you hiding? Take it out! It's nothing. Leave me it's alone, something please! something dirty, isn't it? Like an adult magazine? <laughs> a cat? <laughs> oh, so cute! you find this little purple? It was in front of our house, so I just, well, can we Seriously? keep him? I promise I'll take care of him. <laughs> you humans are so stupid. Soon this house will be mine and I'll have stolen your place in their heart. Honey, I'm sorry, but I'm allergic to cats, remember? Nice try, pal. Christmas. I hate it. At first it's fun to see all the pretty lights and the smiling masses, I grant you that. But where there's light, there's also shadow. So even Christmas can be easily shrouded. This chick looks nothing like Darkness bubbling up from people's hearts. They may look happy on the outside. Yeah. I'm straining along until I get my present. Then it splits, Phil. But deep down, this is how they really think. The only people who seem to genuinely love Christmas are either little kids or couples madly in love. Unfortunately, my parents fall into both of those categories. I have a bad feeling. Hey, Let's get this party. I ran into your best friend at the store, so I invited him. When it comes to parties, the more the merrier, right? Someone please in my misery. Not that I play them, but this feels like the Christmas scenario in a dating simulator. I wonder if I can avoid triggering any flags. Oh, right. I forgot we were still missing one weirdo. Merry Christmas! Santa's here with presents! I thought this was supposed to be just family. Now I look like a fool. That's because you Who's are. Who's that guy? He's Ko's friend, Nindo. 
Kuzo has a friend? Oh, dear. Me too. But how? Kuzo's such a cold jerk. If I went to school with him and he didn't have powers, I'd punch him in the face. Well, thanks, Dad. Hello, Nendo. I'm Kuzo's dad, Kuniharu. I've heard so much about you. Oh, it's so nice to finally meet you, Mr. Kuzo's dad. <laughs> he seems like a thug. Is he really Kuzo's friend? He seems more like the dumb bully type. He's a good kid. We can hear you. This is a great costume. Uh, I thought you were really Santa. What? Oh, thanks, kid. Now you like him? Merry Christmas! Well, Nendo, yeah. I get the feeling you're just a big kid under all that beat. You're acting like really the host family for an exchange student. Like my Santa costume. Before Kuswo even turned one, he was already treating his old man like something he found in his diaper. You should have taken that hint. Yeah, I can tell by the way you listen to me that you're a good kid. Oh, I don't know. I never visited my house. No way! But why would your dad deprive you like that? Oh, my dad's dead. He passed away before I was even born. What? I... I have no idea, Nendo. I'm sorry my husband said that. <laughs> Why? Doesn't bother me. I've still got my mom, and I'd rather have her than Santa once a year. I see. Um, would you please excuse us? You two keep eating! Oh, that's odd. Anyway, it's pretty cool your dad still comes home in a Santa costume every Christmas. I have a feeling this night's about to get even more uncomfortable. I'm back. Sorry for stepping out. No problem. Where's my buddy's dad? He had to leave for a work thing. Something about clients eating their shoes licked. Anyway, let's eat. Oh, oh no! Who's about just like Santa trying to break in? Oh, my! I told you to unlock it for me. I'm sorry, but I didn't think you'd be so fast getting over to the door. You're so sloppy. Hey, Nando, I'm Santa Claus. It's nice to meet you. That's worse than I expected. Pulling the exact same stunt twice is bound to fail. Even Nindo will notice. Then <laughs> again, this is Nindo we're talking about. I, I can't believe it. I'd be honored to shake your hand. Oh, oh, of course. He's getting carried away. Oh, hold on! I just remembered you fly around with reindeer! What? What? I always wanted to see a reindeer in person. Go look! Kusro, help me out! You're on your own. Koo, please! It's Christmas! Be giving! Seriously? Fine, here goes. Oh, my reindeer is awesome! It's just a normal deer. <laughs> here, Nendo. It's for you. Whoa, a, a present? Isn't that my present? Yeah, that's two presents! What? You have two gifts? I thought you said you'd never gotten one before. Yeah, nothing from Santa, but I still get one from my mom. Every year while I'm asleep, she comes in and puts a present right next to my pillow. I wonder why she didn't just give it to me herself. Oh, well. Your mom is a saint. Ah! Uh, it's so crowded. Well, it is New Year's Day. What do you expect? I expect to be able to stay home and enjoy the day in peace. I wish for another happy year with you. Oh no, why are you doing your New Year's prayer to me? Oh, but could me, don't you see? The goddess I pray to is you. Uh, he gets so smug when he charms her. Wishes, huh? I can make my own come true whenever I want, so I don't have any. Besides, I'm not religious. God, Buddha, all the same to me. Please let me win 200 million yen in the lottery. That's not what you wished for earlier. Came to me now? Oh well, might as well kill time too. Please let the rest of my New Year's Day be quiet. Thank you. Well, guess I'll go home now. Oh, hey there, Psyche. See? There is no God. What a twist of this fate. This year is already off to a bad start. <laughs> also, his scarf is dragging. Visiting the shrine for New Year's? That's nice. I only happen to be passing by. I'm not really the superstitious type. Huh? I'm Kuzwa's father, Kuniharu. And I'm his mother. You are such a handsome boy. Thank you for being friends with our grumpy little Koo. What? Um, yeah, well, sure. Greetings, sir and ma'am. I'm Jet Black, uh, Kaido. <laughs> oh, hi, so your name is Kaido. Uh, Kuso is one of my greatest allies. I made friends. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Boy, you are really struggling to interact like a normal person. Oh, and Nindo isn't my friend. Yeah, I know. Who would have thought Kuso was able to make two real friends? Mm -mm, honey, no, I didn't mean it like that. My prayer was for Kuro to make lots of friends this year. Don't you see? The year's barely begun and it's already been granted. Then grant mine already. Me? You know I prayed for the exact same thing. We're on the same page, honey. Always thinking alike. You wanted money. So, Kaido, have you gone into the shrine and said your prayer yet? Oh, I should! Indubitably! Indubitably? Well, time for me to go converse with the heavens. So you do believe there's a god? Even if he is dragging his scarf. You guys have such low standards. 
Psyche's parents are a bit on the strange side, but I guess they seem nice enough. Please let me have more friends this year. You too, huh? <laughs> I didn't expect to engage in a battle with God today. <laughs> Why did you bow so low? So what was your prayer about, Kaido? Oh, well, it's a secret, indubitably. Sounds like you decided to kind of play your character part-time. Now you really sound weird. What's up, Kaido? Huh? Oh, wow, Psyche's here too? How you doing? Happy New Year, guys. What are you wearing? If he's here, does that mean my prayer was heard? Oh, uh, thanks. You do the shrine thing? To be honest, I... Psyche, who are these people with you? Oh, you're his parents. Good to meet you. In honor, Kusuo may have mentioned that I'm the Class 3 rep. Name's Kineshi Haido. Your son is always quick to help me out at school. He's a good kid! And Haido's such a well-mannered young man! He dresses like he's at the gym. To think that my little Kusuo has so many nice friends, your mother is just so very happy. Yeah, you've turned into Mr. Charisma, son. They're not my friends. They all just follow me around. Although, I am curious to hear what he's praying for. A friend and rival who will get on the court with me and push me to become a stronger man. So, Hydra, what did you pray for? <laughs> it's a secret. What is the deal with everyone praying at the shrine for more friends? Oh, hey, guys! Wow, why are you all at the shrine today? Ninja! Oh, hey, buddies, Mom and Dad! Is, is it possible the man destined to become my rival is Nendo? Nendo, do you play tennis? Never, but I'm probably pretty amazing at it. It does make me wonder why so many of their prayers are getting answered today. Oh well, probably just a coincidence because my prayer, to be left alone, hasn't been answered at all. So, Nendo, have you prayed yet? Oh, you mean like ringing that big bell? Yeah, sure, I'll do it. Now he's going? I hope for all our sakes that Nendo doesn't pray for anything weird. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now it's time for ramen! What was that about? <laughs> Nendo, you're funny. You only rang the bell once. I'll show you how to do the whole ritual. Huh? First, you throw the money in there. Then you ring the bell. After ringing the bell, you have to bow twice. And then you clap your hands twice like this and say a prayer. I hope Kuswo finds a girl done. I must be hearing things, and even if he did say it, and this was all real, he already prayed once before. No way it'll happen. Is that who I think it is? You gotta be kidding me. I'm not gonna turn around. Oh, it is you, Psyche! Running into him in a special place like this has to mean something, right? Why is everyone here? Uh, what the? Who is this girl talking to my son? Does Kuswo know her? Who cares? My wish has been granted! Though I hate him for getting attention from such a hottie! Don't even want it. Oh, wow! It's Dad Raj, eh? What? Who is this lovely lady? Hey, what's up, girl? Want me to show you how to ring the bell? Kuswo's dad, nice to meet you. And I'm Ku's mother. Why are they all acting like this? I just want some peace and quiet. Kuswo, you going home now? I know. Why don't you all come back to our place to celebrate? We got a big spread. Yeah, please come. Great, I'm hungry. Really hey, God, it. grant my wish already. Tenohashi, you didn't pray. Is that all right? <laughs> I'll come back later. <laughs> I don't have anything I need to pray for. I just came so my presence would bring a little more New Year's joy to the downtrodden masses waiting in line. You're not God. All the boys in line can see me and go, Oh, wow. What are you talking about? Follow me. Wow! Mass chestnuts! Have more! Picking out rules! Hey, don't eat all the chestnuts! They've overrun my only sanctuary. Right. This food is amazing! Would you please teach me how to make- You're gonna make a great wife, Teruhashi. What a terrible oh, way to so start sweet. the year. Thank you. No, thank you. All of you, for being friends with Kuro. You don't have to thank us for being his friends. We're here because we want to be. <laughs> That's right. You're sincere. I'm just so grateful for you. Oh. Mike, who's always had a really hard time making friends, what with them being a psychic and all? Well, at least it's finally quiet. Um, you may have just said too much. What? Now would be a good time for divine intervention. What do you mean by he's a psychic? Uh... Honey, you should say something. Oh dear! Calm down. There's nothing to panic over. For example, if your friend's mom had said, My little Ken has psychic powers. How do you think you'd react? I'll tell you what would happen, because it's not exciting. You'd make the face these guys are making now. You'd never take it seriously. I mean, my mom says all yeah, kinds well, of crazy I things. It's only if you panic that it sounds suspicious. 
All you need to do is calm down and change the subject. Right. <clears throat> hey, you know that one manga logo? The pirate face on Shonen Jump? Yeah, kinda, sure. Get this. If you turn it 90 degrees, it looks like the profile of a little girl's face. And uh, I just thought I'd point that out. How are you going to come back from this one, Pops? You just made this... Bite, it really does! Guys, look! I see you! Endo, it looks like she's wearing I'm somehow grateful clip. you successfully so changed the subject. I never noticed that. Me neither. So, my buddy's a psychic. Get out. Did you know a female sunfish lays up to 300 million eggs for each spawn? You get out, too. Fine, I'll do it. Sorry, I must have bumped into it. Are you okay? Hopefully one awkward situation will distract from the other. But I worry that I'm too late. Well, thanks for the dinner. We're forever in your debt. Thanks. You can't stop by any time, okay? I didn't expect Psyche's parents to be so friendly. Yeah. And you sure took advantage of them. You made yourself right at home. Hey, what about you? Talking all fancy. What was that all about, Imbobitably? Guys, it's still New Year's. Don't ruin it by fighting. Oh, by the way, anyone figure out what his mom meant when she said that he's a psychic? What was she talking about? Uh, yeah, I don't know. Made New Year's dinner oh, really man. awkward. I didn't undo the damage after all. That was a joke, but then they quickly changed the subject. Dad made it even worse. Figures. Such a weird moment. His mom is <laughs> weird, though, so it's probably just a joke. But the way they tried to get us to talk Yes, about my mom is weird, really but I'm... Fool. You read too much manga. Look who's talking. <laughs> I'm just playing. Well, I live down here. See you at school. Oh, I gotta go this way. I'm going this way, so I'll bid you adieu. Uh, which direction is my place? I don't know. See you at school. So what's my next move? None of them really believe I'm a psychic, which is good. But thanks to my mom's big mouth, the idea's been implanted in their heads, which is bad. It already hurts my conscience to think about what I have to do, but I see no other way. I'll use this thing that looks like the TV Tokyo mascot to make it all disappear. Uh, what the... <sighs> Things should start getting back to normal now. I erased part of his memory, a very tiny part. In fact, just the keyword psychic. The trick is channeling my powers through this thing that looks like Nanana, the TV Tokyo mascot, but isn't. It's a complicated bit of psychokinesis, so I won't explain it here other than to say I can only erase up to one minute of memory. Now I have to repeat this procedure three more times. It's such an imposition, and I haven't even had a chance to tell you about the biggest drawback to this ability. Happy New Year! Gonna be a good one! Hey, Psyche! Back to spending our days at this boring school again. Uh, uh, he's probably still embarrassed about how awkwardly dinner ended at his house. I'm making friends because he fantasizes about being a hero. <laughs> Ignorant idiots often accuse me of having the same problem. I know exactly how it feels. So don't you worry. I'll support you as only someone who shares your pain can. Psyche! This is our friendship sign, cool? Never forget it. Don't worry. Can't forget what you don't remember. So here's the drawback I was talking about. When I erase a memory, a blank space appears, and when that happens, the brain's natural repair mechanism kicks in and fills that void with a different memory. The replacement memory varies for each person, so I don't know what they think. Oh, it's Psyche. I haven't seen him since New Year's Day. That was fun. It was very surprising to hear what his mom said about him. Who's always had a hard time making friends because he doesn't trust people? Psyche has trust issues. Like I said, each of my friends now has a different memory of that dinner. I bet he liked a girl once who broke his heart. That would explain why he's all low wow around me instead of going, oh wow. <laughs> Don't worry, Psyche. This goddess will melt your frozen heart. <laughs> when a memory's replaced, sometimes things turn out good. Or in the case of Teruhashi, bad. <laughs> hey, Psyche! It's all about New Year's! Well, you can't blame him for being cold. If something like that happened to me, I'd be messed up too. Well, Ku used to be captain of the tennis team and he was. They quit. That's why he has such a hard time keeping friends. That's a long, long replacement story. <laughs> Nindo. I don't know what his replacement memory is, and frankly, I don't want to know. Somehow, he's ended up more attached to me than ever before. Kusuo, want to come whack some tennis balls? Psyche, do you sense a disturbance in this hall? Oh, Ku, <laughs> I sound like your mom. So there is a god. He just hates me.
tried stitching it back together, but it wasn't easy. All right, get out Mr. of Mr. Matsuzaki! We're, We're sorry for breaking, breaking the rules, rules, sir! What a pain. Who was that girl? She was cute. I have such a crush. And I just created another problem for myself. Excited? It's finally here! What's finally here? Oh, come on, you know. Don't have to read mine. It's just the calendar. It's February 14th! Wait, who are you I again? I sure hope to find a pile of that brown stuff waiting for me in my desk. A pile of brown stuff? Gross. Well, how many girls plan to get me some of that sweet Valentine's Day chocolate? Oh, that. But I'm really not Whether interested. Not you get some chocolates could change your entire future. No exaggeration! You are exaggerating. That's why I've been doing nice stuff for girls lately, like carrying their things. Here, let me carry your purse for you. What? Uh, they don't want your help. And flattering them. You smell better than normal. New shampoo? Uh, That's thanks. sexual harassment. And even giving them cool presents. These talismans are from my temple. Hang them by your door for safety. Uh, thanks. Too pushy. Man, I did everything I possibly could to get the chicks at this school to like me, and it must have worked, because now they all notice me when I walk by them in the halls. You're so screwed. So come on, use your psychic powers to see if I'm going to get a lot of chocolates. Oh, fine. Yes, I knew it! <laughs> he thought I was making an O as in OK, but I was making a zero as in zero. Okay. Thank you. Heido, I brought you some chocolates to thank you for helping me out during practice the other day. Heido is pretty popular. Here, Heido, I wanted to thank you for playing with my kid brother the other day. Those are gratitude chocolates. Heido, these are for you. And by the way, things are taking my grandpa to the hospital the other day. Oh, it was nothing. That's not nothing, it's heroic. Oh, Heido, thank you for getting potato chips and juice for me the other day. On your own errands. Heido, things are testifying at the trial the other day. Wait, what? Thanks for saving me when I was simultaneously attacked by a brown bear and a saber-toothed cat the other day. How are you not in love with him after that? Ooh. Hey, Psyche, good morning. Did you see all that just now? <laughs> I don't know what to do. I can't eat this much chocolate. I can't brag. These are just gratitude chocolates. Hard to believe that with all this, I didn't get a single heartfelt chocolate Excuse today. Me. Uh, please accept this box of chocolate shaped like my heart. Another gratitude chocolate. Lucky you. That's heartfelt chocolate. There's something in my desk. Could it be? You got chocolate? Congrats. This must be the work of Dark Reunion! Why are you suspicious of that? Hey, how many chocolates you get? Eh, uh, some. What about you? Well, what are they talking about? Score. Could this be Valentine's chocolate? <laughs> Kiss will tease me if they see it. All right, now act natural. But who would give it to me? The only girl I've talked to recently is Teruhashi. Hey, did you hear? Teruhashi brought chocolates for some lucky guy! Huh? <laughs> it can't be. Did she mean to write heartfelt? Uh... <laughs> you totally fell for it, dude! You'll get chocolates from Teruhashi when pigs fly! There are some lines you just don't cross, Mendo. Oh, what's wrong with you? No need to be depressed just because you didn't get no candy! Gonna be hard for you to believe, but even I didn't get one, so we're in this together, bro! Kaido's life is at zero. Pardon me! <gasps> Can you come with me for a second? There's something I want to give you! You bet! I'd love to! No, not you, Nindo. I was actually talking to Kaido. <laughs> Some lines you just don't cross, Kaido. Oh, this stinks. What idiot ran around the school telling everyone I brought chocolates today? Thanks to him, all day it's been like... That bag looks heavy. Want me to carry it for you? Are you thirsty? Uh, I bought you a peach tea. Are you hungry? I brought you every kind of snack from the school store. Enough! Where did you even come from? You must be tired of walking. Pop what I'm off. tired of is you people. Just leave me alone already! I need to use the ladies' room, so bye! Wait! I have a portable toilet. Uh, to hell with Valentine's Day! They say I've got chocolates! So what if I do? I'll just give this to Psyche. Obviously these are gratitude chocolates because I had dinner at his house on New Year's, so really they're for him and his parents. <laughs> these are the only chocolates I brought today. If those guys out there find out I gave them to Psyche, I'll tear them apart! No, or it turns out my chocolates are the most dangerous weapon in the history of mankind! I can't give this to him! I'm sorry, Psyche! That's a little dramatic. Hey buddy! Let's hang out! Hey, you there, pal? Oh man. Luckily, my parents are out. Makes it easier to pretend I'm not home. Come on, I dug a super big hole in the vacant lot over there! It's really deep! I can't think of a less interesting thing that's happened in the past century. Dang, guess he's not home. Finally, some peace and quiet. He almost ruined my Sunday. Now I can get back to that book I was reading. Huh? Nindo? How'd you get Check up here? Check out your little face! You look so scared! Back up, kid. This is harder than it looks. Oh, it's not Nindo. 
It's other Nindo. You can totally see me right now, can't you? I have so many questions, but all I can say is go home. Hey, right? right? This is Nindo's father. He died 17 years ago, and now he's a ghost. I've seen him twice before. First when we visited his grave, and then again through the eyes of that medium, Toritska. Normally, seeing ghosts isn't one of my powers. Not sure why I'm seeing one now, but nothing surprises me anymore. As you can tell from his face and annoying... Which is why I want nothing to do with him. Hey, can you hear me? Hey, how about now? How about now? Can you hear me now? I can see inside your mind. Okay, this means war. Uh, so you can't hear me after all. Hey, I hear you do all kinds of cool magic tricks. That's what Rafe said. Man, I just love magic tricks. Do one for me. Hey, come on. Right now? With your trick? Great. Physical attacks don't work. I'm running low on options here. Hey, no, come on. Quit ignoring me, you He sir. really is just like Nindo. How long before he decides he wants to call me buddy? Are you talking me? You are literally in my Come face. On, say something to me. <laughs> See, was that so hard? Now show me a trick, buddy. I've had enough. <laughs> Seriously, go see your son, even though I guess you never really knew him. That was awesome! You just vanished! <laughs> what the hell? Got here in no time. That's really something. Am I stuck with this guy now? Oh, now to another one. Sorry, but you leave me no choice. <laughs> Scratch, and his regeneration is incredibly disturbing. Hey, I like you. He's worse than Nindo. Oh, hey, buddy. Could this guy be my greatest foe? I guess it's come to this. Gotta ask the medium for help. <laughs> Do at the temple all day. Psyche, not cool. Hey. Don't just sneak up on a guy when he's in the middle of a pit-up mag tournament. Say that like it's a normal thing. It's the loser semifinal round now, so it'll be over soon. Who cares? <laughs> this guy's your guardian spirit, right? Uh Wait, you can see him? Uh, you're a medium now too, but that's my thing! You stole my thing, you bastard! Not my problem. You power hoarder! You power hog! Anyway, can you do something about him? He won't leave me alone. Uh, hey, Razor, you were right about this guy. He's fast. Hey, dude, you gotta leave him alone, all you're right? You kidding? I'm spending every you're day with him. my life a living hell. If you can't get him to back off, what makes you think I can, huh? And there's only one option left. Huh? Why don't we see what'll happen to your guardian spirit after I kill you? What? No, even if I die, he won't go away. Besides, I'm just gonna haunt you too! Really? I assume your soul doesn't have enough substance to hey, stick listen, around. Hey, listen, I really can't do anything! Only spirits can interact with other spirits! Of course. Why didn't I think of that? Psyche? Hey! Uh, uh, oh no! Psyche's dead! I'm using a power that lets me separate my soul from my body. See, souls and spirits are pretty similar. Oh, astral projection. Okay. Be careful with that. Hey, I want to see some more magic tricks, buddy. All right, boys and girls, here's a question for you. So now I'm a ghost and he's a ghost. Whoa, I can touch you now. Do you know what happens in a certain mega popular video game when a ghost type fights a ghost What's type? What's going on here? Man, the whole Nindo family's a drag. Well, guess I'll head home and get back to reading. Revenge time. This is for messing with my Borno Mad Girls. <laughs> Today is your lucky day, ma'am. This right here is a rarity known as golden water. We can only get four liters per day. It comes from a special remote spring on Mount Fuji and has special Whoa, healing powers. Oh, that sounds amazing. And it's only 4,500 yen a bottle. Hey, I'll take Thank it. Thank you, ma'am. What is all this? Welcome home, Kiryu. Here, drink this. It's golden uh, water. Ah, she got tricked into buying a bunch of weird crap again. My mom never doubts anyone. She's got a space stone bracelet, So as too. you can see, she's an easy mark for shady salesmen. Just look at all those vacuum cleaners. Who needs that many? And what's the deal with this? Water from Mount Fuji? With special healing powers? Well, clearly that's a lie. And even if it were true, I could just go there and get it for free any time. Now drink up! The guy said that you'll never get a cold or an injury again. Really? When have you ever seen me sick or injured? Well, look at the other great stuff I buy. Fire extinguisher. I can put fires out. We don't need An that. An extendable I can bowl? reach high places. We don't need A that. Look on levitation. I can levitate already. We don't need That's that. That's fully automated egg cracking machine. All you have to do is set the egg and press the handle and it easily cracks the egg. No one needs that. Oh my, well who on earth could that be? Hello? What? You were arrested for groping women? But they'll release you if we pay one million yen? I'll go wire the money. This is terrible! You're what doing here? We thought you'd be in a jail cell. I didn't do it! I don't go around groping women! But the man on the phone kept saying it's me, it's me! Well, obviously you fell for the classic it's me scam. But how'd you get fooled, uh, Kuswo? It sounded like something No, it do. doesn't. And I don't know how you could even fall for that. I can't believe we almost lost a million yen. 
Though I see someone got you to buy a bunch of crap. How much was all Come this? On, yen. It's the same either way. I've got to lick 75 shoes to make back the million yen that you spent. Do you have a yen per shoe I'm rate? I'm so sorry. I bought all this stuff because I thought I would make my two special guys happy. You have nothing to apologize for, honey. You did it because you love us, and that's all that matters. In fact, knowing that makes me happy, so who cares about the million yen or the number of shoes I have to lick? Oh, honey. Now forget about this. Let's have dinner. Oh, sounds good. I'll go get ready. Oh, great, Kuso. Please fix his mess. So now you're panicking? No big deal. These are still in the return period. That was too easy. <laughs> it's convenient that I can afford things. All right, you got my shoe licking money back. Just for that, I'm gonna buy you one coffee jelly. One? Uh, as many as you want. I really am sorry. Honey, I told you, it's okay. But the salesman come by all the time. Wait, just today, there must have been at least ten. Wow, that many? We're probably on a list of easy targets. That's it, I'll get rid of those vultures once and for a all. sudden headache. We don't even want a little bit of what you're Why, selling. Why, you must be the man of the house, and if I may say what a fine impressive house it is, sir, you've done such a wonderful job with Oh my, do you think so? I have just something to take care of such a lovely place. This prison cleaver is revolutionary. It cleans the outside. No, make that sense. That won't work. Go destroy all those companies. No. We need to show that our resolve to not buy is so strong that they remove us from their sucker list, which will only work if it comes from Mom. Though, of course, I'll give her a little help. Hello again, ma'am. So good to see you. The Deceive Healthy Food Company thanks you for your business. Please just leave us alone. What? But ma'am, wait! I said please leave. Ah, uh, let me guess. Your husband got upset. Oh. Yes, I thought that might be the case. Men in particular tend to complain. Mm -hmm. But it's because they have to go out and work every day and the stress of the job builds up and takes its toll on them. You're the only oh. one who can save him! You have to look out for your family's health! Give me everything you have! Oh, you're so gullible, Mom. She's so concerned about her health! Enough of that. Switch on. <laughs> this broad will believe anything. She has no clue that she's just buying tap water. I'm gonna get so stinking rich off you, lady. What's going on? You guessed it. Forced telepathy. I'm broadcasting this slimy huckster's thoughts directly into my mom's head. You're gonna drive your precious family straight into bankruptcy. Well then, I'll be on my way now. Hold it, you son of a bitch! Yeah! So that's your plan? Drag my family into bankruptcy? How dare you try to get rich off my beloved family's suffering? Actually, before you leave, there is one more thing I want from you. Your head! Get back here! Something tells me he won't show up again. It's a ring. We should return this too before... Causing it. My telepathy's gone. After looking into it, turns out this is just a normal ring, but it's made of something called germanium, and I think that's what's doing it. I don't know exactly how it works, but it seems like I can't use telepathy when my skin is touching this material. What a pleasant surprise I've stumbled upon. It's so quiet. Thanks to the telepathy I've been cursed with since birth, I hear the thoughts of anyone within a 200 meter radius. That means that even in a residential area like this, I'm constantly bombarded with mall food court levels of noise. But right now, all I hear is silence. <laughs> I did it! What are you still doing here? Are you pretending to be startled? Anyway, food's on the table. But you're not used mind, to people right? sneaking up on me. I mean, it's nice that all the noise is gone, but surprises like that can't be good for my heart. When my telepathy's on, I know when someone's coming before they get to me. Huh? Kuswo's not down yet? Food's gonna get cold. In fact, I even know the reason why they're coming to see me. That's just been the norm for me my entire life. But now, while I have this ring on, it's like having millions of unpredictable nindos walking around, which is terrifying. I should take it off. No, it could still be useful. Oh, right. There's somewhere I always... And I didn't even teleport. Sure, I had to deal with Nindos B, C, and D along the way, but I cut those scenes for time. Anyway, this is where I wanted to go. A movie theater. See, telepathy and movie theaters are a bad combination. Back when I was a kid, there was this movie that I had been looking forward to for a long time. But then... I can't believe he was dead the whole time. What a crazy twist. I had the ending spoiled immediately. At the theater, there are two groups of people, those who are about to see a movie and those who have just seen it. So the next time, I went to the very first show on opening day. All right, here you go. Enjoy the movie. I hope you can handle that one. It's kind of scary at the end when the main guy turns to goo and dies. An unexpected ambush, but I decided to stick around and watch it anyway, even knowing how it ended. This part's boring. Hey, I'm hurry up and shut up. Don't hold it here. I hate all of you. Since then, I've given up on going to the movies. But now I've got this. Today's the day I make my triumphant return. Here you go. Enjoy the movie. That was easy enough. Thanks, Nindo E. That was something. Yeah. <laughs> nice try, Nindo F and Nindo G. You may have already seen the movie, but you can't spoil it for me. Yo, sorry, I was in the bathroom. Wait for me. So, oh, no. what did you guys think about that part where every one of his bones got 
got broken, then he slowly died. Yeah, that was nuts. Just kidding. Unlike with people's thoughts, all you have to do is plug your ears to block out their voices. Other than that, though, the movie kind of sucked. Oh, yeah. yeah. It was awful. The movie in theater three. But I've got a lot of time to make up for. Hey, watch where you're going there, you jackass. Yeesh, it almost spilled on me. All that food lost. Stupid Nindo's INJ. Or should I say idiot and jerk? Never would have happened with telepathy. Uh, no, what am I thinking? I'm happy to finally be rid of that power. Nuisances like these are just the price I have to pay. I should never rely on supernatural powers. Well, here's my seat. Seems pretty comfortable. <laughs> I love you, germanium ring. I'm never gonna take you off. Uh, uh, oh, what a coincidence! Of all people, I had to sit next to Teruhashi. She's acting weird. I have no idea what she's thinking. She's not Teruhashi anymore, she's Nindo L. This is bad, but I can't worry about it now. I've been wanting to see this movie for a while. The live-action Healthy Warrior Specializer? I mean, sure, a live-action anime adaptation is pretty much a guaranteed fail, but thanks to this oh, ring... Psyche? I'm not just making up an excuse, but I don't want you to get the wrong idea either. See, I'm here with someone, but... Oh? Kagomi, I got his popcorn! Hmm, who's that? If Teruhashi thinks he's worthy of her, he must hey, be pretty... Hey, you there! Just what are you doing with my Kagomi? Oh, don't take your sunglasses off! Oh my god! Hey, look! It's That's Toto yeah. Mugami, the star oh, of the movie! What's he doing here? I can't believe she brought him to let me... <sighs> Psyche got the wrong idea! Because I was with teen actor Toto Mugami, who assumed we were dating! I should have just come with a non famous hottie. Everyone knows I only date the best! <gasps> What's wrong, Kakomi? Hey, don't scare me! I knocked! Why is your head all up in the clouds? It's both none of your business and, at the same time, all your fault, stupid big brother! Huh? Ah! Everyone look! Toto's on TV! What? What? Who? Oh, hun, don't tell me you haven't heard of Toto Mugami! He's the hottest and therefore best young actor today! I love him! So, then, who do you like more, him or your husband? Oh, that's a no-brainer! Of course I love you more, dear! You make silly Toto look like a fly on dog poop! Honey! That's a little harsh. Kurumi, I feel the same way compared to you any other women are just poop stains on porcelain. Honey, I so hard you! Their metaphors need some serious work. Oh, we have a visitor! Hey, but we're having a moment! Coming! Who is it? <laughs> no, what's wrong? It's the poop line! Good evening to you both. I'm sorry to pop in unannounced like this, but is this Kuso Saiki's home? Oh my god, it's the Why guy you like Quiet, you're scaring the neighbors. Here you go. Thank you very much. Kuso, do you remember how you and I bumped into each other at the movie theater the other day? Since I don't want to have to deal with this young. weirdo. People always assume two hotties like us are dating, but Kakomi is actually my younger sister. Oh, you're related? Yes, I already knew all of this. Toru Mugami's a stage name. I'm actually Makoto Teruhashi. Anyway, Kakomi's super freaked that Kuso's got the wrong idea about us, and so I came over here to smooth things out. Wow! She totally wants Kuso to like her! Totally wants Kuso to like her! Please stop saying stupid things. I haven't even started dinner! Man, I wish our parents were as chill as yours are, Kuso. Probably best they leave, though, because I have one more message to give, and it's serious. Stay away from my sister, you piece of filth. I don't know if you're crushing on her at school or what, but shut it down! She's way out of your league, pink-haired four-eyes. Wow. I already knew you felt this way, but I never thought you'd tell me to my face. Even I'll admit, this stings. You're just a fly hovering over poop. Wait, is Teruhashi the poop in this metaphor? Do you really think you have a chance? I'm not thinking that. Since you see her every day and say hi to her in the hall, you probably think you'll have some long courtship and then marry her, huh? I'm not thinking that either. Well, stop dreaming, you pervert. How many times do I have to say this? She's so pretty, you're drawn to her like hyenas drawn to a rotting zebra carcass on the savannah. But it's only Now natural. you're saying she's rotting flesh? Kokomi is no normal pretty girl. She's a masterpiece painted by God himself! That's an exaggeration. The only man suitable for Kokomi is her brother! Did he really just say that? See, you're just her loser classmate. I've been with her to be the man to marry her. Ah, so he's a pervert. I'll never let some ugly nobody have my Kakomi. The only man allowed to touch a perfect body's me! How did his parents <laughs> let him get this bad? Oh, Kakomi! No one else in the world has the passion for you that I have! Oh, wow, obsession doesn't even cover how this dude feels. Don't you dare come near my future wife. Don't look at her, don't breathe the same air as her, got it? What a pain. I've caught the attention of a real nut job. Well, time to send him home. Coming! Who is... Oh, hello. You have a guess. Huh? Kagomi? What are you doing here? Um, what are you doing here? I called her. <gasps> Your brother's at Psyche's house. Hurry. I talked to Teruhashi using telepathy. Hey, 
Now Not take this curve home. I came home. here because you thought Psyche got the wrong idea about us, right? How did you know that bothered me? I'm your big bro. I always know what you're thinking. Anyway, you don't have to worry. I explained it all. Oh, that's so sweet. Wait, no, no. If he explained it, now Psyche knows I was worried he got the wrong idea. Tell me how she was thinking about me. I'm always here for you, sis. Huh? Why did you have to stick your nose into my personal life? I hate you, big brother. I hate you. Oh, 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 oh. I'm never talking to you again. Leave him here. You have 50 missing you the whole time. And start! Final exams start today. Every student dreads it, but to be honest, I never lose a second of sleep over them. And that's because... The answer to question one is A. Next! It's totally B, right? It's A. I'm positive. I'm free to cheat as much as I want, and with my psychic powers, Question cheating is as easy as breathing. Three. First yeah. off, with telepathy, I can read everyone's minds. Or I can just look right through the person in front of me to see his answers. And if I use photography, I can quickly copy them, too. But I don't want you to get the wrong idea. If I wanted to, I could score 100 on all these tests without cheating. No, I cheat to get an average score to make sure I don't stand out. So my goal during any test is to mix in plenty of wrong answers. This way, out of a class of 181 students in my grade, I'll score smack dab in the middle. The answer's A, but I guess I'll say C. Well, I totally bombed that one. I don't even know what it was about. Chemistry? Don't think you don't look happy. Oh, kind of. Well, I don't want to brag or anything, but I totally aced it. Bad respect, bro. <laughs> Thank you. And did you do okay, Haido? If I didn't fail, I'd be shocked. My fault, though, I didn't study. It's just a hunch, but I bet his score beats Kaido's. You're not alone, guys. I didn't study for that stupid test either. Shocker. Uh, I'm not surprised. <laughs> you take this stuff too seriously. Plunk three more tests, and the school will be dragging you down a grade. Drag it down? Uh, 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 Don't worry. You won't have to treat us like your upperclassmen. We'll spare you the shit. No, wait, there's still time to improve your grades. Yes, and pigs will yet. fly. We'll save you, Nendo! Hey, what do you mean by dragging down? I rest my case. Oh, the test thing, right? Yeah, don't worry about that. I got a plan. Uh, this! <laughs> With this trick pencil, I can't lose. He's, He's toast. toast. And begin! Well, that's that. After this term, I'll never see him again. Okay, this one's E. But even with his pencil die, there's one way he can avoid flunking. I can use my powers to roll it to the right answers that for him. Be quiet, but Do I really want to help someone who won't even make an effort? Ooh, an the e. answers are E-I-E-I-O, like the chorus in Old MacDonald. On I, yes! What? He got them all right? Hey, quiet! What the heck's going on? Hey, you listening? I'm already stuck on question one. Wait. You go. I brought you back here to help me with my test. That ghost no, leaving me high and dry. Nindo's doing well on his test because he's getting help from his father's ghost. Now I'll get question five. The ghosts don't remember their lives. How would he know Let's Nindo's see. his son, let the alone that he needs help? The reason I feel compelled to keep helping this kid. Out of 181 <laughs> students, Nindo ranked 90th? You're usually at the bottom, explain. I don't take it serious. You cheated, admit it. Oh, you dark face! I used my beam. I'm just assuming that means someone hit you on the head. Congrats, Nendo! In my book, beating 90 other students makes you a national hero! Don't patronize him. I'm not, I'm being nice. <laughs> High test scores don't equal prowess on the battlefield. I studied all night! Hey, little guy, nobody likes a sore loser. I didn't lose to you! 90 is a terrible... <laughs> oh, sorry. Don't be. This is the exact ranking I was aiming for. Mission accomplished. Oh, that score isn't that bad. Yeah, that still beat half the freaking school. Don't try to comfort me. I don't need it. Well, the big thing we learned today is that this trick pencil my dad once had really does work. Uh, wait, your dad left behind that lucky pencil for you? Yep. How'd you score that high just by rolling a pencil? Do you have psychic powers? Probably. Oh, great. Uh, I don't see your name on this. It's there. Right near the bottom. So that's that. Down the drain, my life is ring. I hear this stuff. People's dark thoughts are always so exhausting. This guy's got it pretty bad. Wait, I could swear I've heard that voice before.
<laughs> nope. False alarm. And I'm going home now. Master, is that you? Wrong guy. It's a miracle. Oh, Master, I've never needed your help and wisdom more than I do right now. Hey, I said wrong guy. Master, I beg of you. Please join my stage magic act as my new assistant. And now, ladies and gentlemen, our next performer's been on TV's miraculous magic show, The Illusionist You've All Been Waiting For, Studio Gunjo! What a response! How is he more popular than ever? His act seems just as terrible as I remember. Of course, the real question is, how did I get talked into this? I have a huge show booked tonight, but my regular assistant Michael got in an accident. What? Did he die? Fortunately, he didn't die in said accident. But he did say he couldn't do tonight's show. I asked anyone I could think of to be my substitute assistant, but they all told me no. When I needed them most, my friends vanished into thin air. It feels like a really bad illusion. That's sad, I guess. I got so desperate I even asked my mom. But it wound up looking really terrible. Don't say that about your mom. Please, Master, can you just help me out with tonight's show? Sorry, I'm busy. <laughs> Wait, this is the biggest show of my life! Please, my love, my darling wife who left to win back her love. <laughs> you're not listening! Because you're annoying. Also, when you refer like to her as your darling you wife, you I cringe. I don't like that feeling. How could you ignore someone so in need of help? This is the classic body cutting trick. I put all my savings into this box. A new one would cost 1.2 million yen, but I didn't have that, so I bought this used one for 1.18. You should have bought it new. But it came with no instruction book! Michael and I tried doing the trick dozens of different ways, but we couldn't get it right. Was that his accident? Fortunately, he only needed a couple stitches from that. No, the real problem came two days after that, when a motorcycle hit him head-on, throwing him 30 meters. Holy crap! The point is, I still don't know how to do this trick. And now that the world's abandoned me, I have no choice but to figure out some way um, to use it Um, there's actually it nothing to figure out myself. here. There are no moving pieces or hidden compartments, just partitions. It's a box. I'm thinking of using this chainsaw on tonight's show, and then just picking a random assistant from the no, audience. No, 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 no. And that's how I became a magician's assistant. Midori, where are you? No. That's not her. No. <sighs> Definitely not. What does his ex even look like? No, I have to focus on my performance. Besides, my master is helping, and I have to impress him, too! And now for my next illusion! I'll move my assistant cycle from age. I'll lock both boxes to keep Cycle in and keep everyone else out. All right, crawl inside. Okay, but I still don't know how this works. When I say so, pop out of the other box. You got that? Good. No, I do not. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm now closing and locking the box. Music, please. Seriously? He didn't even bother to explain it. How am I supposed to get from one box? Well, that answers that. Secret tunnel. I gotta hand it to him. This is a pretty involved trick. This must be where I crawl into the other box. And it won't open. I'm not Let's surprised. Let's open the box! And it's Drapian time! Fine. He just appeared out of nowhere! Yeah! How'd he do that? Master came through for me, but how? I never seen so it. far tonight's gone perfect! Right? Did she come? Is that her? Huh? Nindo, what are you doing here? She's here! You came back! You came back for me, Midori! Huh? My name used to be Kota Nakanishi. I was an office drone for a book publisher. About a year into the job, I met Midori. She worked at the cafe one block over. I still wasn't very confident at what Kota, welcome! I went as often as I could until we grew close. She would just smile and listen as I complained endlessly about my terrible job. Then one I realized I was in love and wanted to take care of her. See, her first husband had died and she had a son at home. Anyway, I proposed. But then, one month later, they fired me. I started drinking and she took her son and left. It's important she see everything I've accomplished in the last two years. That's why today's performance means so much to me. Yeah, I get all that, but in the end, this Midori person didn't actually show up. Cool, a magic knife! You know, I Instead, all we got knife. was this idiot. <laughs> Do you like it? No, no, Ricky, that's not a toy. Midori, this can't be so real. To see you again. It has been a while, Cole. She's nothing like his memory. Allow me to introduce These my plot twists wife, are giving Midori. me whiplash. Well, I wish the writer would stop making stuff up hey, on the fly. You look kind of familiar. Hold Shoot. on. Nah, the glasses are all wrong. For a second, I thought you were Psyche, my best buddy. He's so reliably stupid. 
Well, that's my cue to leave. Whoa, don't go anywhere yet, Cycle. We've still got another half of the show. Just my luck. My sweet, will you watch the rest of my performance tonight? Then give me a second chance? This is unfathomably weird. Yes, it's a drive for me, Enrique, so at the very least we'll watch you. But don't expect any more from me than that. It feels like our relationship ran its course a long time ago. Why do you and Nindo have this? The box ready. Presenting my all-new body-cutting trick. My lovely assistant, Cycle, will get inside the box. I will then separate the box into parts with the chainsaw. Then I'll move the parts around stage before putting them all you back together. You explain the whole trick box. before you do it. Where's the surprise? Hey, you think this will really work? It's gotta be a trick box somehow. It's actually not. This box is literally just a box. No gimmicks. Which would suck for me if I weren't a psychic. Thankfully, I've come up with 13 ways to avoid getting chainsawed to death. First, I'll bend the blade the moment it cuts into the box. Then, right before he pulls it out, I'll turn back time for just the blade to put it back to normal. And when he moves around the parts, I'll use my super flexibility. Are you ready, Cycle? Let's go! Hold on! I want to be your magician helper and get inside the box! Try to cut me up with whatever! I'll be fine! Ricky! You idiot, Wait. sit down. No! That's enough, Ricky. Let's go home. Uh, no, Miri, don't go! And just like that, the wheels came off. Now what's he gonna do? With Nindo in there, he's likely It'll to send okay. the audience home This screen. blade won't touch Ricky. I'm sure the gimmick will trigger somehow. The love of my life is watching. Don't kill her son! Hit me with that chainsaw, bro! No. Ricky's my name. Ricky Nendo. I know I look cool. You just don't get it because you're nothing but an old grandpa. I'm dropping out of high school. I gotta earn some cash to support mom. I'm sorry, I can't go through with it. I wanted this trick to be a hit so badly that I brought it out here even though I hadn't figured out yet how to do it safely. Sorry. I knew they'd be mad, but not that mad. They full-on rioted. But, I think you made the right decision. Usually I can find a ton of different ways out, but this time, I only saw four ways to save Nindo. Hey, my old bank account. It had gotten lost in my stuff. I never spent one cent from it. Mithri, I thought you left! Well, that was a really bad show. You got the crowd so excited and then you didn't deliver the goods. Is it any wonder they rioted? But don't worry, when you've got that trick down cold, I'll come see it again. <laughs> Thanks for my bank account. I promise I'll do it right next time. With this, I now have the money to buy a brand new 1.2 million yen body cutting box. And if it's a hit... 1.2 million! On second thought, get that back, loser! Now that exams are done, sure, bro! Yumehara, coming? Sounds like fun! What are they talking about? I don't know. It's better that you don't. What about you, Meta? Yeah, I already have plans later, sorry. Interesting. Is it a date? Maybe, something like that. <gasps> oh, wow! Teruhashi! What's up, guys? Do you want to come to karaoke? Most of the class is already going. Us She's and the other guys over there. Doesn't look like Psyche's coming, so no. I'm sorry, I can't. I have a Kocho lesson after school. Oh, okay. Let's just call it all. Wow, that sure killed the mood. This is Cafe Mommy. It's quiet, out of the way, and very relaxing, which makes me a regular. Most importantly, they serve a great coffee jelly. Since this is a coffee shop, it puts the store-bought ones to shame. It is one of life's great pleasures. Unfortunately, I may have to stop coming here. Sorry to keep you waiting. <gasps> Psyche! What a waste. And it was such good coffee. So At least I was able to catch my coffee jelly. I mean, why not? She'd just have to throw it away. I'm sorry, I'll clean it up and get you another one. Just hold on. Uh, hey, where's the coffee jelly? No idea. I'm sorry. I can be a bit of a klutz. No complaints oh, here. So here's an extra one, free of charge. Are you a god? Um, by the way, Psyche? Merichi Sato, I know why you panicked when you saw me. I'm begging. Please don't tell anyone that I've got a part-time job as a waitress. If the school finds out, they'll make me quit. Student jobs are forbidden. Night job as a gas station attendant, and my weekend hours at the restaurant. Not to mention my self-employed gigs as a babysitter, tutor, and flower arranger. Making her quit seems humane. To be honest, my family's poor. I think everyone already knew that. After all, her lunch is always just rice with a pickled plum. Her gym clothes have someone else's name on them. And if you look closely, her glasses are missing a lens. And right now, she's literally drooling over my coffee jelly. <laughs> oh, it's fine. You can go ahead and eat. You're hard to ignore. And besides, your drool ruined it. 
coffee. It's so good. I feel like I owe you my life. To be honest, all I've had to eat since yesterday morning is ice. Coffee and jelly's the price of your survival, so be it. Elementary school has been supporting everyone, so that's why you can't love about me working. Is that okay? <laughs> Three second rule. Okay, I promise not to tell anyone. Thank you, Psyche. Keeping her secret benefits me too. It means I get to keep coming here. Welcome! Wait. <laughs> Mr. Matsuzaki? Young lady, are you working here? It is him. Sorry, I don't think there's anything I can do to help you. Don't take it personally. Are you working here, yes or no? No, I'm not! You know the rules, right? No matter how good they your won't reason, let me help my family! I'll have to quit school! Is... Nothing to worry about, Meta. You work to order a parfait. Coming right up! Oh well. I said I'd keep my mind control power sealed, but I guess I made another change in the world. Not a big one, though. Hopefully it won't affect too much. PK County students are now allowed to have after school jobs! Consider this thanks for the coffee jelly. Hey, we're all going to karaoke after class. You want to come? Now that exams are done, sure, bro! Sounds like fun! What? Hey, Meta, are you in? Thanks, but I have to work after school today. Then instead of karaoke, how about we all go to your workplace to keep you company? Really? That'd be great! Ah, Teruhashi, we're all going to where Meta works. Do you want to come? Well, today I might be. Psyche's not going, is he? Hey, Psyche says he wants to come. Huh? Psyche? Yeah, sure. And then let's go! Really? Sweet! Oh, hey, what's going on? We finally gonna get together after school and hang? And who wants to come? Let's just cancel. Wow, that sure killed the mood. Looks like he has massive delts. Huh, 
Nendo did Nendo? Hit him on side, what sort of, of beast are you? No, Heido! Ah! Whoa, 63 kilograms! Heido killed it! That face he made was really distracting. Let's see you top that, Nendo. I heard Nendo's grip strength was 84 kilograms. 84? Impossible! What a man! And he still has those ridiculous villains! don't have any effect on this test. Hmm? Whoops, I went too far. Oh well, we'll make it go back around. This is going well. What's Kaido up to? No, Psyche! Wow. No, no, you don't understand! I swear there's a good explanation! 16 kilograms, really? <laughs> If I remove this seal, my grip strength is at least two tons. Isn't 0.8% power too much restraint? And you only did 26 sidesteps? Well, uh, I was moving so fast that to the naked eye, it just looked slow. So you're basically a fan blade now? And that six meter ball throw? No, the ball went all the way around the world first, so technically, it's the Earth's circumference plus six meters. Are you a first grader? This is our final battle. If I lose this one, it'll mean complete and utter defeat for me. Worst of all, it's a test of flexibility, which is not my strong what? suit. You're still competing? His cans are getting in the way! Nendo, 34 centimeters. Stupid movies! Take him out. Hey, I can- I won! You consider that a victory? Hey, Nendo! Oh. You put up a good fight, bro. You truly are a worthy rival. Rematch sometime? Uh, you're sure. acting like the winner, but didn't you lose? Hmm. Bunch of losers licking each other's wounds. Oh, Kaido. Kind of. <laughs> As my way of showing mercy, I'll finish with my overwhelming power. What on earth are you talking about? <laughs> no way! Kaido, 74.3 centimeters? You wanna know what all the kids used to call me when I was in middle school? Kaido, the cave dwelling bedmaster. What? <laughs> Lost. <laughs> Whoops, I guess I just revealed another of my secret powers. Why is so everyone well? acting like they won? All right, now clean up! There's always someone better than you. Never thought Kaido would be the one to teach me that. Always someone better, huh? If there's someone better than me, I'd like hey, to Hey, has them. anyone seen my right booby? Uh, he came back? I better get rid of him. A while back, I rescued this stuck-up cat, and ever since he's been showing up at my house meowing non-stop. The reason is... Cats are universally adored and worshipped by all mankind! Yet this human boy hasn't bowed down to me even once! I won't tolerate such insolence from such a lowly human! He will submit! Why are you mad at me for something you did? And while it's true that most people like cats, not all of us do... Dun -dun -dun. Well, Dad's not exactly helping my case. It's yummy one more time now! Hey, I thought you were gonna get rid of him. See? My plan was to lure Amp in with his cat food and then chase him away. I still give him a name. Never even crossed my mind. <laughs> now this one's already under my control, and it's only a matter of time before you join him, holdout. I'll come by every day until you pet me. Meow! Well, how dare you pet me, impudent human! Aw, he you still hasn't let me pet him yet. Please, let me pet you. Bed. I may deem to let you stroke me three times. Uh, hmm? What got into him? Why is he making that creepy face? So that's it. I can work with this. Hey, where's my afternoon snack? Enjoy your yummy wummy. Yes. Cat food again. I'm sick of it. And knock it off with the baby talk. Do I look like a kitten to you? That was my chance. Whoa. Uh, uh, hmm? Who the hell are you? I haven't seen you around here before. Let's say my name is Sai. Sounds like a cat name, right? This is my transformation power. Using it, I can turn into anything. The downside is it takes about two hours to complete. Oh, there's two of them now. Oh, where'd you come from, little cutie This pie? is disturbing. You know, you kind of look like someone I know. Oh, right, there's oh, another downside. Little, little it happens cat. when I take on a non-human form. Oh, a little love tap. Since I'm not used to different bodies, it's hard to control my strength. <laughs> that was a heck of a love tap. He could take over the world with that. Hero! But back to the task Back off! Not that I'm scared of you or anything. Follow me, Amp. <laughs> That's pussy! Why did you bring me to her? I'm guessing the reason he's been yowling so much lately is he's in heat. I don't really want to help him, but I do want to shut him up. What? Confess my love for pussy? Are you nuts? Why would I do that? I don't even like that she-cat. Not like that. You're in love with her. You're not fooling anybody. <laughs> okay, fine. You are totally right. I am head over paws in love with pussy. I'm telling you, I want to mate with her so badly it hurts. If you were human, what you just said would be a serious no-no. But it won't happen. She would never go for a cat like me. <laughs> don't doubt me. I may be a cat right now, but it's still me. Of course I've got a plan. Sigh, <gasps> she's over there in that alley. We'll do it just like we rehearsed, okay? Now don't screw it up for me, you got it? You worry about yourself. I can't believe my good fortune. He really came up with an amazing plan. Step one, Sigh harasses pussy. Step two, I swoop in to save her. Step 
top three. I not sigh out to show her how cool I am and step four, I profess my love. What a brilliant plan. There's no way it could possibly fail. There he goes. Stop right there. Make one wrong move and you're gonna regret it. What'd you just say? Make one wrong move? What are you gonna do to me? No, 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 it's not like that, I swear! Damn it, what was I supposed to say next? Um, I am the greatest! He's a Seriously, I made one quick trip to the bathroom and all hell breaks loose. So much for that plan. Guess I should bail him out. Oh, Sai, thank goodness you're here! Clear up this misunderstanding! It doesn't really look like a misunderstanding from here. Just explain it all to her! All right, all right, just calm down. There I go again. Forgot to adjust my strength. Thank you, thank you. Oh, wow, you're so strong and chivalrous. I'd love to meet, I mean, make your acquaintance. What's your name? Hey, where'd you go? Get your ass out here. That super macho Tomcat was so incredible. Ever since that day, I just haven't been able to stop thinking about him. Hey there, Amp. Hi, pussy. I brought you Din Din. And now we have two cats. Second kisser. I don't play the popular games that other kids play, because inevitably I end up hearing spoilers telepathically. Instead, I play the ones that nobody's interested in, which is to say, crappy games. Old Fauna's Story 10-2. Only cost 100 yen. I almost bought the one next to it, but that game looked too crappy even for me. This is Ophana, a land in a world unlike Whoa, our that own. that started abruptly. The people of Ophana are frightened by the threat of demons called Nekod Mind and are plotting to conquer Ophana and enact their fiendish limited edition plot. In order to stop them, the king forms... That's just a bunch of words. Marshall. Whatever, I'll just Marshall skip the intro. I'm sure I can figure it out as I go. Power similar to the one hmm? called well, that didn't work. It won't let me skip. The people of Ophana called this power Excel. Why not just call them both Mind? as well read the instructions while I wait. Now there are more words I don't understand. Hmm? Uh. Well, that wasn't entirely the game's fault. I shouldn't have put the controller down. I'll just try again. And we're back at the intro. Now that I'm ready, it's easy. Too bad I had to sit through that ridiculously long intro twice. Hope I get to a save point soon. It froze. Don't play crappy games if you can't put up with little hiccups like this. Success! Alright, now we're getting somewhere. Hey now, you're not too bad, kid. Is that the same guy from the cover? You're still a young rookie. The dub doesn't even match the flaps either. Oh well, no biggie. Gameplay's all that matters. Look at that. Necrosophias are really giving us trouble. To think that they're even invading our way. In the name of Marshall! Okay, so the bad guys are attacking the kingdom. I think I'm starting to understand what's going on here. I'm Tom. Glad to have you. And once you get used to them, these graphics aren't so bad. <laughs> this might have actually been a good buy. Uh. You don't want to shake my hand? Are you one of the Necrosophias? No! Let's work together, kid. Success! Finally. We're comrades now. Shut it, Tom. I only shook your hand because I had to. We will never be friends. Let's survive this together. I hope you die. Here they come, kid. Watch my back! Alright, so I need to watch out for attacks from behind, too. Looks like this battle could be a tough one. Oh, they're weak. Maybe this won't be so... Take this! So this guy fights alongside me? Ah! Only two damage points? If he's this weak, how'd he kill me before? He's hopeless. Oh well, I'll just have to get through this by myself. What? Seriously? In order to stay alive, I have to protect him? The old man who stabbed me just because I refused to shake his hand? It's all over for me if they try to attack Tom. Ha! <laughs> what would you do without me? I haven't even gotten that far, but I'm already sick of him. I'm dead? We have no choice. We have to finish them with Excel. All right, I'll show you a true 16 shot per second button smash. This is some unprecedented controller technique. I won't lose. Excel! Finally, a save point. Never before has a save screen brought me so much joy. That was a long battle. Oops, I destroyed the controller. That's an easy fix. Good as new. Anyway, at least I'll never have to watch that ridiculously long intro. The screen's back? 
The cable was connected when I rewound time. This is El Sada, a land in a world unlike all. Excel! <laughs> Soon, this world will become a sea of blood. Kaido's hero complex is in full force today. The hour of awakening's fast approaching. Wish wake up. See you tomorrow, Psyche. Assuming there is a tomorrow, I mean. <laughs> oh, hi, Shun Baby. <laughs> are you on your way home? Oh, what are you doing here, Mama? Mama! Are these boys your friends? Hi there, I'm Shun's mother. Forget about them, let's go home! Where are your manners? Our house is just around the corner. Don't you want to invite them over? What? Well, uh, this guy's really busy, right? Isn't that right, Nendo? Yeah, well, I do have a lot of... Come on, take a hint! Oh, no. I guess it's nothing too important. Go away! I, I got some coffee jellies from the Neighborhood Association, and there's enough for everyone. What are you Wait, waiting what? for? No, you're Show us the way. Down. Welcome to our home, this boys. This place is huge! Here's my Shun baby's this room. This is huge! He can do somersaults on the floor! Yeah, but there's no good reason to. <laughs> He's a lively young man, isn't he? <laughs> Wait here, baby. I'll go make some tea. Oh, great, thank you. So, Run, you like to call your mother mama, huh? Could be a goody go. goody when you get home, huh? <laughs> you know she calls me Hey, shit. shut <laughs> up! Better than what my mom calls me. What, me a goody goody? Ha, seriously, you could not be more mistaken. She's a civilian, I can't drag her into this. She knows nothing about the jet black wings. As for calling her a mama, I'm using Japanese character for true and demon. On the world I come from, Calm down, there's all baby. the mothers. Ooh, what are you doing? Looking for porno max, I Duh. forgot that garbage! Ooh, this looks suspicious. What's this? That's his. Get your grubby hands off that notebook! If you open it, I'll never forgive you, I swear! You better put it down, Nindo. He's not playing. What's the big deal? People like him often keep notebooks they don't want others to see. You're no fun. Oh, well, I'll just snoop Hey, knock shows. it off! How dare you mess with my sanctuary, you son of a- There we go. get yourselves at home! I'm so happy you're here! That was a here. quick change. I know it's not easy being friends with my son because he's so shy, but please be patient. He doesn't have any others. Don't say that, mo uh, mother! She's completely different from my mother. So boys, tell me, which college would you kill to get into? What's your future? You're in high school now. You must be studying for your college exams. So which schools are you? You're one uh, funny old broad. Old broad. What's this killer college business? A sequel to assassination classroom or something? Uh, she means the college you do anything to go to. Oh, I'm not going to college. I'm going to be the president of a company. Yeah, good luck with that. And how about you? I really haven't given it much thought. And right now, all I can think about is this. I can't believe how flippant you boys are about Here your future. Here College prep begins the moment you set foot in high school. My shoot has been going to cram school three days a week and he studies an extra three hours a day at home. Please tell me you at least study before all your regular and after school classes. Uh. <laughs> Shun, come with me. And you two do these workbooks. You can have your snacks when you're done. I don't want you hanging out with those boys anymore. But... You'll turn out like them. You need friends who are your equal, or better yet, one notch above you. You don't have time to play around. His mom's kinda obsessed with education, huh? But she's not where wrong. He keeps the porno mask. His grades have been falling, and it's true that now is a critical time for college prep. Plus, if she forbids him from seeing me, that'd be great. He'd finally no, stop mama. following me around. They're my friends, and they're important to me. I won't just abandon them, okay? What? My baby dares to disobey me? No, it's not like that. I'm sorry. Oh, wow. If you can't dump those losers, I will. You know, I think... What are you boys doing? I told you to work on these. This is why I don't want you to... Huh? They finished them? It hasn't even been ten minutes. Could these boys actually be geniuses? Hold it, Mama. I know what you said earlier, but I can't let you... Uh, I hope you'll continue to be friends with my baby, Shun. Oh, Shun, why didn't you tell me how wonderful your friends were? I didn't do this for you. I did it for the coffee jelly. You just leave him to me. Plus, I'll I didn't want to look as dumb as him. Now sit down and study with your friends, Shun, baby. Oh, scenario for the jet black wings. What's this? She's in my class, isn't she hot? I don't care. Her birthday care. is December 3rd, her blood type's O, she has no allergies. She's 167 years old. None of what you're saying makes me want to help you. Her measurements are 81, 59, 83. She likes to listen to music, she plays synthesizers, she has a- I'm calling the police. I got all that from her guardian spirit! I pump them for information every day for weeks. Hey. You sound like a detective trying to crack one last case. So I know everything that there is to know about her, right down to the number of moles she has our in her body. Our laws were designed for this sort of evil. If you like her so much, why don't you just talk to her? Oh man, I get so nervous whenever I'm around Not her. Not my problem. Please, you ever I want her to! You disgust me. 
Oh, well. I figured you'd say no to that. No, you didn't. Okay, that's fine. I'll do it myself. All I ask is that you don't interfere with my actions. I won't unless it gets unethical or too inappropriate for TV. Yeah, I can do this. After all, I've got my own unique powers. I can pick up a girl easy. You shouldn't pick that up, though. Well, are you gonna talk to her or what? Now's your chance. Whoa. Who knows what you'd do if I weren't here. I'm glad you're here. It gives me a chance to show off my kick-ass new ability, Spirit Summoning. You'll be so jealous. Spirit Summoning allows a dead person's spirit to possess your body and make you act like them. I'm gonna have this guy possess me. You know I can't see him. This here is Raya. He's been a real player since back in the day when he was still alive. Ciao. He used to be the most in-demand host at all the clubs and made a move on every chick he met. Then while dating 48 girls at once, one of them stabbed him to death. Yeah, I nailed every member of a certain overpopulated idol group. Is this guy for real? Possess. Now I can nail all of the girls in that idol group. No, you can't. You don't have a problem with me doing this, right? You can switch back. Oh yeah, it's still me in here. You know, there are a ton of goats out there who want to experience being human again, so they'll all be lining up to help me. Does that sound okay with you? Suit yourself. Toritska? Thanks for picking me, babe. Um, I didn't... Toritska seems different somehow. Hey, you're really cute. You know that. Uh, what? Don't tease me like oh, that. Oh, you're blushing. That makes me even kiss you now. What? Uh, Wait, Toritska, let's slow down. This is crazy. All of a sudden, he wants to kiss me? But for some reason... That dead host is serious. Let's work, Raya. I'll take it from here. Already? Just when things were getting good. Still, kissing a guy so soon is... <laughs> So Don't close. feel too bad. Girls are as plentiful as the stars in the sky, and equally out of reach. Hey, wait, hold on a sec. I'm not done with this girl yet. I still have one more ghost here. Meet Rentado. He seems kind of bland. What? That's so mean. I'm crying. Really? Yeah, he does seem bland at first glance, but his life before he died was anything but. Whether it was classmates, co-workers, random twins, smoking hot stewardesses, gross old librarians, you name it. This dude was beloved by every female he ever met. Like the lead in a harem series? But he was so oblivious and non-threatening, he didn't go out with any of them. Uh, so, um, what's going on? Yep, definitely a harem lead. His adorability, pheromones? It's a done deal. Here we go! Whoa, is this really working? All of a sudden, she got interested in you. No one's ever called me cute before. It was nice. I mean, I wasn't interested in him at all, but now... Oh, who wants a guy like that? Uh, Toritska, what does he want now? I swear, if he gets fresh again, I'll scream. Sorry about before. Huh? I was so forward, and I didn't take your feelings into consideration. I was such a jerk to... Well, don't worry about it. Oh, really? I'm so relieved. Huh? Your opinion means so much to me. I couldn't bear for you to hate me. Uh I don't know if it's because Rintaro said that nice or because Yoriko's a pushover, but this might work. Good job, Rintaro. You're the best! Uh, did I do something? Hey, so earlier, did you really want to... Mm -hmm. uh, uh, ow, 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 are you okay? You know, for a split second there, I thought maybe you weren't such a bad guy after all, but I won't be making that mistake again. Pervitska! Ah! Well, there's a harem cliche for you. Regret getting that kid's balloon. <laughs> hey, mister, are you Cyborg Cider Man number two? Because I think you are. Sorry, but I am not Cyborg Cider Man number two. Well, your secret's safe with me, Cyborg Cider Man number two. Still wrong. I am not a cyborg, a Cider Man, or a number two, or any other number. But I just saw you do the soda jump to save my balloon. It's too late to try to hide it now. I'm not a superhero, kid. I'm a high school student. Can I have your autograph? Here. I don't have time for this. <laughs> can't be more than five. Where's his mom? Is he lost? So, um, can you please do the soda jump again? I can't believe this is a real hero. Is there a cyborg cider man number one? I always drink energy cider to support you! His entire comic's just an ad for some gross drink. So it's just sleazy marketing tactics to rip Come off kids. Come on, do the soda jump! The carbonation from the soda shooting out of the bottom of your feet is what makes you jump so high in the air, right? That's a lot of carbonation. Jump! Do it! Do it! Uh, uh. Idiot! Psychokinesis! Uh, what? That was close. That was the soda air cannon! The soda air cannon is real! I know that move. It's like, use the amazing power of carbonation from the soda shooting out of your hands to blow away your enemies! Soda shoots out of his hands and feet? That's not a great power for a cyborg. 
You're raising a generation of kids with unrealistic soda expectations. I know everything there is to know about soda in Cyborg Cider Man number two. Have they even replaced his blood with soda? I know you're Cyborg Cider Man number two. I'm sure of it. Oh, Cyborg Cider Man number two, I love you, you so really much. need to say that stupid full name every time. It's so annoying. Good motivation to find the kid's parents ASAP, though. A hey, a police over here. That was easy. This little boy lost? Suspicious. Why does this little kid love this teen so much? Isn't that better than the opposite? 13 years on the job, and my God. It's all yours. I'm out of here. All right, son. Are you friends with that big kid? Yes, sir. He's a superhero with the secret identity. You should have seen him shoot a car. Hey, hold it right there. Where'd the policeman go? Oh, just a little soda-infused obstruction of justice. This kid's parents could be anywhere. My telepathy hasn't picked up their voices, so they're outside my 200-meter radius. Ugh. Question. Is your arch-enemy Baron Cola really strong? Yeah, he's strong. You'd think being lost would scare this kid. Well, it's getting dark, Cyborg Cider Man number two, so it's time to go home. Right, Mommy? <laughs> um, what? My mommy's got it! I'm scared! You just realized this? <laughs> Got lost. I thought she was right behind me all the time, but it turns out I was just a five year old's always this stupid. Oh, Cyborg Spider Man number two, will you please don't let me bother I don't think I have a choice. What do you want? What? Get on. I'll do the soda jump. Quiet down, you'll draw attention. Mommy! Oh, Utah! Where have you been? I was about to call the police! <laughs> don't worry, Mommy. Cyborg Spider Man number two rescued me, and then we flew here, right? Uh, honey, I don't see anyone. I think this hero is in your imagination. Cyborg Spider Man number. I even got his autograph. Uh, it's gone. Forget this happened. It was all a dream. I'll chalk all this up to you being stressed out over moving into a new house. Oh, hello there, neighbor. We're the Iridatsu family. We just moved in next door today. <gasps> Cyborg Spider Man number two. It's him. I told you, Mom! I he's told you he's neighbor. real! Ah, look at the time! I just woke up and I'm already late for work. How did this happen? Summer vacation's here, but now I have to wake up to this guy every day. Ah, help me out, Dr. Ku! Make that blue box that teleports me to Not my- Not a chance. No, Kutsuo! Don't make me beg you! Ah! You're being way too dramatic. Don't use me, use your own two feet. Take me and I'll bring you back a coffee jelly when I come home. We're here. What? We're already on the roof of my office? Thank you, Kuswo. Now my boss will slap me just four times instead of five times. That's practically the same. Hey, since you're here, why don't you check out the office? Yeah, I don't even know what you do. You switch jobs so often, it's hard to keep straight. You clean shoes or something, right? Oh, I work for a publishing company called Shuensha. Shuensha? They're huge. One of the leading publishers in Japan and a magnet for the best and brightest in the industry. Now you misheard me. Not Shuensha. Shuensha. Shuensha? You're not the first person to mix us up. It's a totally different look. Huh? You know Shuen means death, right? You might be excited to learn that your old man's job is to edit manga. Manga? Here, editorial department for the Weekly Shonen Cognac. Come again. What's with the blank stare? Don't tell me you've never heard of Weekly Shonen Cognac manga. I told you, never heard of it. Jump Magazine Sunday Champion in Cognac, right? I know those first four. <laughs> it's about time, Psyche. Ah! Did you get here late because you like getting slapped by me? <laughs> Who's that? This is my boy Kuswo, huge fan of the magazine, collects the whole run. For weeks he's been begging me to bring him by so he can meet the great chief editor. Well, I never want to disappoint a fan. I'm Onimatsu, the great chief editor. You're addicted to cognac, huh? Dad just wanted me as great cover team. to get his boss Feel off free his to back. Give your boy the full tour. Just make sure you get your work done. All right, thanks to you, I got off with no slaps at all. One coffee jelly isn't enough for this. This is where the magic gets edited. This place looks pretty sad, but I'm curious. Seeing how manga gets made could be interesting. How much longer do you expect me to wait? A deadline isn't just a suggestion! What? More time? No, Being a manga writer can be thing. difficult and time-consuming, so every morning we editors call them up to just check in, chat, and offer some friendly encouragement. Read this script out of you if I have to. What a lovely group of men. Check out our most recent issue. You at least recognize the logo, right? No. Here. You don't want it? Oh, this is our top character, the ever-optimistic Sandra. Just need to edit the titles of these things. They're good. Read it. You won't even open it? Mr. Psyche, you got a visitor. I almost forgot. I'm scheduled to hear a new pitch this morning. Don't cause any trouble. Unbelievable. My dad's a manga editor. How weird is that? I've caught him reading manga, but at home he never mentions or even thinks about his work. Oh, my Kurumi is such a cutie. She's washing dishes. Though, to be fair, the only thing he ever thinks about is mom.
I wonder how his meeting's going. Better check in. You've addressed all of my notes. I like how you've cut way back on the dialogue and are letting the art and layout create the tension. But the characters could use some work. He actually sounds like he's good at his job. Have you thought about making the main guy a psychic? What? Hey. But it's supposed to be a realistic sports drama. Yeah, maybe add some dry wit, too. I'm sorry, but your notes don't make any sense. Look, to be safe, just bring me something like Naruto. I can't do that! Sorry about that. Don't apologize to me. Apologize to that poor writer. Ah, sorry, it's another one. Yeah, Psyche here. What's up? Oh, that? Yeah, you I've got I've never it. seen him like this. Thanks for touching base with me. Well... Oh, you don't have to go home, son. I don't want to get in your way. This job's not as fancy as it sounds. And let me tell you, when it's crunch time, there's no superhero coming to save us. But every time I see those finished manga pages printed with a story the writer poured his heart into, it makes all the stress and bossing for us, Dad. <laughs> Bye, son. Right, I've got to send yesterday's finished pages to the printer. Kuzo! <laughs> Kuzo! Help me! Nope, you already said no heroes. Summer break's the best. Once I'm done with my homework, which I can knock out in a few hours, I can just hang out and read and no one will care. Best of all, today no one's even home. When you're a psychic, this is pretty much the only time in the entire year when you can actually relax. And now Nindo's here to ruin that. Wait, it's even worse. Hello and good morning, Cyborg Spider-Man number two! Oh right, Mom mentioned this earlier. That neighbor boy Yuta's home alone today, so be nice and spend some time with him if he stops by, okay? But being nice is so hard. Whoa! So this is Cyborg Spider-Man number two's secret base! Hold on, why is there no soda coming it's out? It's a safe. What? According to the comic, Cyborg Spider-Man number two uses soda everywhere in his life where we would use water! Wouldn't he get sick of that? At least tell me the water in your toilet is soda. You use it because the bubbles clean That's stinks. That's all convenient. Oh, well, who cares about all the soda in your home when I've got the latest Blu-ray of you kicking bad guy booty? Watch it with me. Uh... Awesome! Watching Cyborg Cyber watching a TV show about it. That only makes sense if you don't think about it. <laughs> Cyborg Cyberman! Just sit quietly and enjoy it. Episode 10. The Lemonade Fiend appears. The Lemonade Fiend disappeared. It burns! It burns! You jerk! Whenever we hit him, he just squirts lemon juice on us. Taking over the world! A giant lemon? An empty soda bottle. Hold it right there, Lemonade Fiend. That voice! Cyborg Cider-Man number two fizzes onto the scene. Keep it down. What do you think will happen? If you stay quiet, he'll win. Take this, Lemonade Soda Punch! No way, don't punch him! The punch will spray the city with lemon juice! He's become more citrus sourness than mad now! He's doomed! Wait, hold on. Oh. It's having no effect on Cider-Man! It looks like that was nothing to him! That was nothing to me! Oh my god, he just no, said it! it's possible! <laughs> you just made lemon soda! What? Lemon soda? That's right, when you add lemon to soda, you're adding a sour kick to that great natural sweetness. Not to mention a whole lot of vitamin C. It's the perfect summer thirst quencher. You see, your lemon juice has actually powered me up! Ha! Find it wherever food and drinks are sold. Yeah! It's only 148 yen after that thing is just an ad. Yeah, Cider Man won! Could it get any more blatant? That was so fun sitting next to you and watching you be lemonade! Now take me to the store to get a lemon soda! Sounds like you lost the real battle. Show me your lemon soda attack now, Cyborg Cider Man number two, or get me a lemon soda! You'll get nothing and like it. Here you go, kid. Uh, lemon soda! Hey, good thing I brought three of these, huh? Now my buddy's kid bro gets one! Lemon soda oh, attack! Lemon what?! Why'd you hit me? He's not my brother, and get out of my house. No fighting in the soda base! Are you okay, mister? Yeah, thanks for asking me, little boy. <laughs> What's wrong? Your face is terrifying. Those big eyes, you are to be very cold! Very cola? Very cola? My humblest apologies. This time I will. There will be no next time. But I will gladly add your lemon juice to my bad cola power. When life gives you lemons, after all. That's totally Nindo. Oh, you got a point, kid. Don't let him pickle me, Cyborg Cider Man number two! I can't believe the resemblance. What's going on? Hey, Barracola! You know this show? Figures. Barracola's my favorite comic book supervillain. He was even the inspiration for me growing this thick mustache. Thick? 
I get it. That's why you're scared, huh? Look, there's nothing to be afraid of! <laughs> oh man, I can see how if you're a kid, it's pretty traumatizing. I can't see too well when I'm making this face. How's the little kid? Soda, get off! <laughs> I see. I was wondering what all the commotion was. Turns out it's some kind of summer festival. Usually crowds bug me, but I'm actually okay with these things. Congratulations! You just won a generic knockoff of a popular toy! My parents used to take me to festivals all the time. I was obsessed with winning this one prize, but I never got it. Sorry, kid. Better luck next time. Years later, it still bothers me. But all in all, I have good memories of the fair. Man, what a big crowd. My telepathy's gonna be pretty much useless here. I gotta keep my eyes open, make sure I don't run into anyone for I know. the last time! There's no octopus in these takoyaki! I'm returning them for a refund! That was close. Time for an alternate route. 22 caliber, not a bad weapon for hunting small game. Here trigger's always nice, and I like having that bolt action for durability. It's just a court gun. Ready? Fire! Sorry you missed. Hee ho! Everyone, he out of the way! Bang! Me coach is coming he through! Ho! He ho! He ho! He ho! He ho! That's the devils. I'll get one of these for the road. Uh, that'll be 300 yen. My wallet's gone. Something wrong? Did I drop it? No, I don't make mistakes like that, and it couldn't have been a thief. <laughs> it's easy to pick pockets when there's so many people. Hot dog. Like With so many people around, I can't tell who's saying what. Hey, good God! What? My wallet! Someone must have taken it! It's a track, dude! How much cash was in it? On the way over, I remember you saying you put every last penny you earned this summer in there! Sounds like Takahashi got pickpocketed. Like I say, you gotta pay attention at all times in crowds like this. What a joke. Pick... pickpocketed? I can't deny it anymore. That must be what happened to me. I got ripped off. I, an all-seeing psychic, got ripped off. Whoa! Takahashi just broke! I can't laugh. I feel the same way. Cool fireworks! They're not supposed to be for another hour. I've never felt so humiliated. <laughs> Festivals sure are fun, aren't they? Well, guess what, Mr. Pickpocket? Now I'll make you pay. With interest. Only problem is, it's gonna be hard to find him with telepathy alone in a crowd this big. I'll have to lure him out. This should work. <laughs> One night's work and I made enough to carry me through summer. Thanks for donating to my personal charity. Oh! What the hell? The motorcycle fell on him! What the hell happened? Get this thing off me! Hey, you left your bike! Ow! Stupid tree! Ah! Did you enjoy the little trade I made? I found an abandoned motorcycle, and after fixing it up, I realized it was worth the same as my wallet, so I switched the two. All I had to do then was use my clairvoyance to find a big commotion, which led me right to you. All you need to know is that you should never steal a psychic's wallet, because there are grave consequences. I could have just had the police handle this part, but it would have taken longer for everyone to get their wallets back. And that would ruin the fun of the festival. Besides, with psychometry, I can easily find the owners myself, so it's no big deal. Hmm? My wallet's gone! Dark Reunion stole it! Is this it? No. Uh -huh. What? Everyone I know looks hey, like wallet? an idiot tonight. Well, two more. My wallet! It's gone! It was here a moment ago! In your loincloth? Whose is this? Hey, buddy, is that my missing wallet? Big surprise. Whoa, Psyche's at the festival, too? Psyche Nendo, what's up, guys? What a pain. They found me after all. <laughs> Let's just go home. Here we find a beautiful girl. This one with much on her mind. Why can't I get him out of my head? Kokomi Terohashi, 16 years old. Is it true love? No, I just can't believe that a boring guy like him is all no wow around me instead of oh wow. I swear I will make Kunio Psyche fall for me no matter what it takes. Elsewhere. <sighs> what am I going to do? We find another not as attractive girl with much on her mind. How come I haven't been in any episodes lately? Jill Yamahara, age 16. But what I'm really worried about is my relationship with Psyche. Whenever I want to get close to him, it's like there's some invisible force pulling us apart. And so, right on cue. Uh, uh, 
Komi? Mehara? They meet. Is this the first time we've ever met outside school? You know, I think you're right. I wish I knew before that you liked to come to this place. Yeah, it's quiet. Makes a good place to study or read. Neat. This is awkward. We never talk at school. What are we supposed to talk about here? Do we even know each other well enough for me to just call her Kokomi like that? Hey. Oh. I'm super excited. I love Okinawa. It's gonna be so fun. A three-day trip with Psyche. Heaven. A three-day trip with Psyche. The only thing hotter than these Okinawa beaches love is you. fantasy. Um, you're more worthy. Oh, wow, in the Okinawan Sea! The dream. Uh, were you saying something? What? No, nothing at all. What about you? Uh, no, I wasn't thinking about any boys at school. <laughs> Kokomi, do you have a crush on anyone? <gasps> what? You do? No, no, no. I just wasn't expecting such a private question. I guess there's no way you'd have a crush. Someone as pretty as you can have any guy she wants, anytime. Well, thank you, but what about you? Do you have a crush? Um, yeah. <laughs> Really? Who? Promise not to tell? Is he in our class? Yeah. Uh-huh. Oh, that's nice. It can't be Psyche, can it? I'm dying to know. Will my psycho- <laughs> What'd you say? Will my psycho ex is finally out of the picture? Ah-ha-ha! <laughs> psycho! Got it. My crush is actually someone I liked before I met my ex. Oh, wow. I had no idea Yumehata had so much experience with boys. Maybe I should just ask her for advice. Um, well, the truth is there is someone in our class I like. <laughs> Psyche, you look sick. Oh no, is Dark Reunion behind me? What do I do? If they end up fighting over me, they'll be in my life all the time, scheming to win my affection. That'll be way worse than having to deal with Kaido and Nindo. The girls are this close to realizing that each of them has a crush on me. I have to nip this in the bud before feelings get hurt, and my life gets ruined. Oh, hey, sorry I blew my wrapper over there. Oh wow, it's Teruhashi! Oh, Nindo? Idiot! Uh, oh no! Did he hear us? Kokomi! She's blushing right now! So I was right! There's no doubt in my mind! Kokomi likes... Umehara likes... Psyche! Hey, don't jump to conclusions. Huh? My bad! Uh, I mean, my deepest apologies. She's blushing more than before! Which means the boy Umehara likes is... Your turn, Teruhashi. Oh, sorry! Oh, wow, she's so red! That means the guy she likes isn't Psyche, it's... I'm warming the girls' faces using pyrokinesis. That was close. It's so cute that you may have a secret crush as Kai. They have just made things even worse. It's that time of the year when a jolt of excitement runs through every school. That's because it's time for one of high school's biggest events, the school trip. This year we're going on a three-day trip to Okinawa. Seriously, I don't get the appeal of these trips at all. I can go to Okinawa and come back within three minutes. Hey, Psyche, have you picked your group for the trip yet? It's going to be a total of three boys and three girls. Let everyone else decide. I'll just go with whoever's left. Looks like the only ones besides you who are still available are Nendo and Kaido. Yes, the best weren't saved for last. That's three boys. Perfect. I'll mark you down as a group. Let me know once you find three girls. Now I'm even less excited about going, especially since... Psyche's going to be together with those two guys after all, just as we suspected. Now the only thing that we have to figure out is how we're going to join up with their group. I'd be way too embarrassed to ask them directly. Oh, I know. Why don't we have Meta do it for us? She's Sato's out today. I heard she's working to earn money for the trip. Ugh, sounds rough. Got a postcard from her yesterday, see? Tuna? Whoa. So then what should we do? There's no other option. I'll have to ask Kaido myself. Whoa, she's gonna straight up ask the guy she likes? That girl's pretty forward. Teruhashi is under the impression that Yumahara likes Kaido. She could not be more wrong. Oh no, I don't see Kai there. Whoa, she's asking the guy she likes! The girl's got guts! Yumahara thinks Teruhashi likes Nendo. She is also very wrong. Hey, Nendo, what? Hey, hey, don't go with you those losers! Losers! Group. <sighs> I can't ask to join Nendo's group with all these guys around! <laughs> If you did that, Yumehara wouldn't be the only one with the wrong idea. Now what's going on? Teruhashi's too popular for her own good. I have relatives in Okinawa! I can show you 
you were out. Yeah, well, I used to live in Okinawa, and they called me the Islander's Treasure when I was little. I'm friends with B.K. Ron's bassist. Hey, that's a lie! Kill Ron's from Shizuoka! We have no choice. We're gonna decide the boy and girl matchups via random draw. Teruhashi, you're up. Oh, this stinks. I have to depend on blind luck. Then again, God does adore me. A one in six chance tipped in my favor isn't too much to ask. Just gotta use those puppy dog eyes. Please let me pick Psyche. Okay. I've got this in the bag. It's truly frightening how she always gets what she wants. Too bad for her, though. Puppy dog eyes don't work on me. I picked this one! So then, Teruhashi's group will be joining up with Takahashi's group. <laughs> From now on, if you want to talk to Teruhashi, you'll have to go through me. I guess we can play board games or something when we're at the hotel. Yeah, I'll bring Nuno with me. Alright, so we know which guys Teruhashi is going with, but now what about all the rest of the girls' groups? Shall we keep drawing names? <laughs> Set to be paired up by lottery, but then... Nando's group? Ew! Can we, like, pick again or something? This turns bumps us out and ruins the whole trip for us. That's kind of harsh. I know it's Nando, but that's going a little far. I don't care who we wind up with, as long as it's not Teruhashi. I volunteer to switch with them. Teruhashi! Damn it. If Nando and the other two don't mind, this worked out perfectly. Normally wanting to join Nando's group would seem strange, but... Come on, stupid, don't you get it? Yeah, in this situation... It's obvious she's sticking up for Nando. So selfless. That's Teruhashi for you. Want to sacrifice yes, her, Teruhashi! You are a benevolent god! Under the circumstances, this doesn't just make sense, it actually makes me more likable. We're gonna have fun together. God loves her way too much. We just dodged a major bullet girl. Yeah, right? We could dig holes in the sand during the downtime. All day long. Hiro, can we talk? Mishima? Hey, who's in Meta's group? Oh, right here, that'd be us. Sorry to tell you, but it turns out you can't go on the trip with us. What? Apparently, they couldn't catch as many bluefin tuna as they'd hoped to. An unfortunate setback. Tuna? Seriously? So bad. Oh, I see. So that means now we'll be forming five groups of seven instead, okay? Ah! Let's hey, go ahead and have each member of Teruhashi's group join another group. Please pick us, Teruhashi! Please, I need this! Looks like God's on my side this time. So your Skudo and Kaido will be with you, though, so there's no cause for concern, They're the right? the definition of concern. Two nights, huh? Try not to use your powers in your sleep. Don't worry, I won't. Are you sure? Remember how you used to do that all the time up until the fourth grade? Then we had to clean up after your little nighttime accidents. Don't make it sound like I wet the bed. Anyway, I'm glad things worked out and my group got split up, though I do feel kind of bad for Mera. Wonder who that could be? I'll get it. Oh, come on. Are you going on a vacation with Kakomi? This is Makoto, Teruhashi's older brother. Hey, what are you looking at? He may be a big star, but he's also a big perv, so I don't want to talk to him. Answer me! I want to know if it's true that you're taking my little sister away on a three-day, two-night trip! It's a school trip. She's only in the 11th grade! Hence the school trip. And there are going to be a lot of other guys there, too? School trip. What are you planning to do to my Kakomi, you pervy before I freak? You're the perv. Shut up! Stop trying to mess with me! With me. You're the one trying to mess with me. Fine, if you guys insist on going, then I'm going too. <laughs> it's too bad for you, Four Eyes. I bet you were hoping to spy on her while she was bathing, but now that I'll be there to chaperone, you'll never get I the had chance. No such plans. Can't fool me. I know you were planning to sneak into the girls' room late at night, and then when a patrolling teacher comes by, try to hide, only to find yourself under the covers with Kakomi. But my presence there means you're out of luck. That was a little too detailed. I'm going, even if it means skipping appearances next week on Ohasta and World Business Satellite. Ah! TV Tokyo won't be changed up, but if he tags along, the trip will be ruined. I'll just have to let his manager know about his plans to miss out on work. Oh, cheer up, sis. But I really wanted to go on that trip. You could go next time. This trip's a once-in-a-lifetime experience, though. Please don't be so sad. At least they let you take the fish home with you. I guess, but it's the ugliest fish I've ever seen. <sighs> Wish I could go to Okinawa. All right, Teruhashi. You win. Huh? Psyche? There's a saying. Trips and troubles go together. What are we gonna do, sir? It certainly doesn't look good. Unfortunately, we're learning that the hard way. Due to a typhoon, the 10 o'clock flight to Okinawa has been temporarily suspended. That's right. Our school trip may be over before it even begins. Not 10 minutes ago, these kids were experiencing pure joy. I can't wait to get there! And then we heard about the typhoon, and boom, those same kids were like this. I've never seen extreme joy turn to extreme sorrow so suddenly. They're in the depths of despair. And just when I was finally able to go! Just when I was finally able to be in Psyche's group! And look at this guy. Huh, school trips are so lame. We should totally skip it. What do you say, Psyche? That was him bluffing earlier. But really, he's been dying to go. You can clearly see the dark circles under his eyes. I bet he was too excited to sleep last night.
and take Yumehara. I bought snacks for the trip. Whoa, that's way Before, too much. Before, she was showing off all the junk food she brought to enjoy on the plane. Then there's Nindo. Blonde babes everywhere and shooting guns. Putting aside that he thinks Okinawa is a foreign country, he was pretty excited. But now look at him. Temporarily suspended. Temporarily rear-ended. He still can't face reality. Sir, if the flight's canceled, will the school trip be postponed? No, it'll be canceled. You may not care about it, but we've been looking forward to this trip forever. Oh, no. I do want you kids to go, but it's out of my hands now. Mr. Matsuzaki, no! This is brutal. Hey, don't give up hope, you guys. The flight hasn't been canceled yet. Come on, son. Give it all you've got. Hey, get over here and do it with me. Wow, they aren't even responding to Haido. They must really Come be taking it Come on, guys. Hard. Where's your spirit? Let's all do it together. Spirit, 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 spirit. Ouch. Spirit. Even I can't bear to watch this. Hey, the flight's back on. The typhoon just disappeared. Okay, now I hear we go. Hey, Psyche, where have you been? Uh, you're soaked. Never mind that. I just paid a little visit to a typhoon in Okinawa. Now, let the school trip begin. Psyche Kusuro! Finally left for Okinawa with all the kids on board. Mm, I was worried there for a second. It'll make a good story at least. I'm glad the flight wasn't canceled. Yeah, I almost started crying back there. Hey, Teach, let's play Uno. I'm pretty tough to beat. Oh yeah, I bet I can beat you. Oh, we're in the sky! Hey, how do I open the window? I'm just glad everyone's in good spirits again. Well, almost everyone. Kaido, are you all right? All together. Yeah, I'm fine. You need motion sickness pills. The flight attendant gave me some earlier, but they didn't help at all. I thought I had brought the kind that worked for me, but I must have left them at my desk. Don't worry, the flight's only two and a half hours. I'll manage. <laughs> Just seeing Teruhashi smile made me feel better. Hey, you okay, <laughs> Rat? Hey, why'd you start puking as soon as you looked at my face? Oh, oh, help! <sighs> Just okay. listening to that makes me feel sick, too. God, I don't see any here. He's at that age, so I feared he might be hiding dirty magazines. It looks like I was worried about nothing. Don't mind me. Hmm? Now, what's this about? I found them! Didn't think they'd be in the pocket of my other clothes. I feel so much better now. That's a relief. So, you got a weak stomach there, eh, Ron? If you knew what your mom just found in your room, you'd definitely be sick again. Man, I'm exhausted. Two round trip teleportations, plus I wrestled a typhoon. Uh, Sir, are you all right? What's with him? Seriously, what now? We've got a passenger in distress here. My stomach is killing me! Hey, you okay, Takahashi? Oh, it's just Takahashi. Well then, good night. Oh, doctor! Is there a doctor on board? No, what are we gonna do? If we act now, we can land at Fukuoka. Like hell we will. We've come too far. One way or another, we're making it to Okinawa. Can't take it anymore. Get me off this plane right now. We'll be in Okinawa soon. Just hold on. I stole the pain. It must be something serious. Oh. The pain's gone. I didn't cure him. I just used my restoration ability to put his body back to how it was yesterday, which means he'll get the same stomach pain again tomorrow. I'm gonna have a great time in Okinawa now. Yeah, good luck with that. <sighs> Had to use my powers yet again. Now I really need a nap. Breaking news. We have reports of a terrible accident. A plane carrying students on a school trip had to make an emergency water landing. The downed aircraft is flight ASO 815. They say when it rains, it pours, but this is just getting ridiculous. The plane is going to crash. That was a prophetic dream. Should I try my restoration power? No, the plane may have already had the problem yesterday. I've got to find out what causes the crash first. You gotta pee again? So we'll be landing soon? Yeah. Oh no, that doesn't look good! The needle on the gauge is spinning like crazy! What? You mean that gauge there? Well, what's happening? It's not working! It's not doing anything! Then try clicking some of those yellow and blue buttons over there really fast! Click, click, click! We're losing altitude! Oh, this is bad! This is really bad! If we don't do something quick, the plane's gonna crash in the water! What's wrong? Whoa, well, that was one heck of an earthquake, huh? Captain, we're gaining altitude! Really? Guess bringing stuff at random works! Weird, the problem isn't fixed, but... Oh man, this was a lot easier than trying to find the cause, though it is kind of heavy. Don't know how, but we're still flying! Then let's land while we can! Woohoohoo! We're here! Hey, you don't look so good, pal. Hook up, bro! <laughs> so planes make you motion sick, too. How many troubles do I have to deal with on this trip? 
Okinawa, the westernmost prefecture in Japan. It's one of the country's top resorts with beautiful views, rich cultural heritage, and fantastic tourist spots. On your left, you'll see and now our school trip can finally begin for real. I sure hope this three-day trip goes smoothly. Whoa, cool, look, it's green! So far, I've seen nothing but Somebody's sea. probably been dumping green paint out. Not the only one who's excited. All right, okay, now let's pick up the heat! You're sweating like crazy, Hiro! Since we're on vacation, everyone's obnoxiously loud. Ta-da! Whoa, hey, what are you doing? Oh, no worries, I'm wearing a bathing suit underneath. Soapy, soba, hagu, pork, goyo, shampoo, red bean soup. At this point, Kaido's the only one keeping quiet. Hey, Bunch, you've had your nose stuck in that dang book this whole time. Try living! You sure are kashimashi today. Oh, wow, hey, you weren't kidding. The sea is quite chura. Chura. Let's get some air. Oh, man, it's Ipei Achi-san outside. Uh, Ipei who? Oh, I know. You're using Okinawan dialect, right? Oh, don't, don't. No, I forgot my shirt was open. I'm speaking Uchinaguchi, the Okinawan dialect. Oh, that's right. They use funny words like salsa and menthol. Pretty sure you got that wrong. I think you meant to say mensore, which means welcome. Kashimashi means noisy. Chura means pretty. Ipe means very. Achisan means hot. And Chimudondon means my heart goes pitter-patter. Wow, you know a lot of words, Kaido. Oh, wow, Terashi. Will you teach me a few? Uh, yeah, of course. Great. Now Kaido is the most excited kid of all. All right, everybody. Time for lunch. Huh, so this is Okinawan soba. It don't look like soba to me. They call it soba, but they don't use buckwheat flour. Whatever it is, looks good. Let's eat! Kuwachi Sabira. Oh, wow, this is Masan. This soba is Ipe Masan. Teruhashi complimented. Eat up, guys, it's Masan. Mm, that's getting really annoying. Whoa, Mera, you're a gachimaya. Mm -hmm. mm. This soba is so darn Masan that nada soso. Oh, and by the way, for those who don't know, Masan means delicious, gachimaya means glutton, and nada soso means tears trickle down. The kid's trying way too hard. Oh, wow, that's impressive, Kaido. Yeah, I can't even keep track of them all. No need to worry, even if you don't get Uchinaguchi. Nankuru Naisa! Nankuru Naisa means it'll work out. He's been dying for a chance to use that. I ate a lot! That was good. Kuwachi Sagita. Hey, we still have some time left. Want to check out some souvenir shop? Yeah, let's go! <gasps> Habu versus Mongoose! Ultimate deathmatch in Yanbaru! Looks sketchy. Uh, sounds scary. Come on, yeah, let's look at souvenirs. They're such fools. You can buy souvenirs anytime. How often do you get to gaze upon the fiercest creatures in Yanbaru? This mode's annoying, too. Whoa! What's this place? It looks pretty sweet! <laughs> <laughs> not interested. Maybe I'll join up with the girls. <gasps> Chisato, you're not supposed to eat that many of the free samples! There's pineapple is so fresh and juicy! Kachimaya! Kachimaya! That's odd. People started gathering around for some reason. Shurikagi! Shibudondon! On second thought, the ultimate deathmatch in Yanbaru sounds pretty good. Howdy, and welcome to the Habu! Versus Mangu Show! Ah, snake! Oh, don't worry, the snake is my friend. He would never bite you, I swear. Here! <laughs> Nankuru Naisa. But if you encounter a Habu snake in the wild, you'll want to run away fast. Can you guess where they'd bite you first? The legs? That's right, the legs! They want their fangs in your shanks! Just a little rhyme I made up. If you run into a Habu snake, ask if it has poison. It'll tell you, yes, I snake it in. Just kidding. How about this one? What is it that makes a hobby so charming? This old man doesn't know when to quit. It's poisonous, poison, poisonous. You get it? <sighs> well, here's the hobby versus mangoes match. What? What do you mean they're not fighting here? Ain't like the old days. Got animal protection laws so the now. Outcome's already been decided. It was a three-minute video, and as expected, the mongoose won. I want to go. Me too. Wait, not so fast. This is Ipe Masan. It'd make a great souvenir. Should have seen that coming. But I don't want to carry it around. Not good nice. How about some habu powder and habu oil too? The guy continued his snake oil sales pitch for 20 minutes. By the end, Nada so so. Kaido walked away with all of it. Come on! Thank goodness the first day's almost over. Start. Hey, we can see the sea from here! Huh, wow, this room isn't so bad. I don't see any bugs. Hey, don't stand there blocking the entrance way. First Teruhashi ditches our group, then we get stuck in a room with you losers. Sucks to be us. We're putting our stuff here. So the old guy got you too. Hey, don't get too down, Takahashi. Yeah, we can still have plenty of fun here. Oh yeah, I forgot about the great views. 
What's with them? Are they up to something? Yeah, something stupid. <laughs> sure do like to eat, Meta. Yeah, she ate all the snacks I brought, too. More rice, please! Hey, so where are we going tomorrow? Well, let's see. First, there's the pineapple garden. Draw. Pineapple garden? Are you that hungry while you're eating? And after that, we're gonna visit the famous aquarium. Fish? Draw. Those fish aren't for eating. I can't believe the first day is almost done. Feels like the trip will be over in no time. What are you talking about? It's barely even begun. Yeah, I guess you're right. Shall we go take a bath now? <laughs> Sounds good. They're acting weird. What are they up to? Something stupid. <laughs> now this is what a school trip's all about! Looking at girls! What's the plan? I scoped the place out last week. You flew all the way here? The hotel swaps men's and women's baths every other day. So I have a good grasp of the other side. That's dedication! Yeah, I don't even know what to say, dude. Well, it'll all be worth it soon as we catch a glimpse of her! Best place to sneak a peek is there! You can get it! I brought three here. Whoa! Alright, let's do this! Stevie Reality Scope! Showing up in a review! Let's try again! What are those? Hey, what the hell is wrong with these stupid periscopes? That's what you get for trying to peep on girls. taking your glasses off? Anyway, what's so great about seeing naked bodies? They're all foggy. I see them all the time, and they don't seem that special. Whoa, this thing is amazing! Oh, shut up, Nindo! And get your grubby little hole! <laughs> it's not possible. I'm never gonna make fun of Nindo again. They ain't looked at me since the bed. They're idiots. Just ignore them. One, two, good evening. Let's play Uno. A bunch of guys showed up at our room for some reason, so was it cool if we hang out in yours for a bit? That was perfect. Yeah, we nailed the timing. Oh, right. That's enough practice. Let's go for it. Sorry, girls, but I'm not really into Uno. I should be safe here. Man, I'm beat. When I made that typhoon disappear and when I carried the plane, I had to remove my control yeah, device both times, so it's gonna be a long trip. Seriously, where could Psyche have gone? And why am I, the most perfect and pretty girl, wandering around searching? Oh, Psyche! Is he asleep? Yes! This is my chance! Before he wakes up. Wait, what was I just about to do? Creepy, gross, unpopular guy would do to a girl like me! I wonder if Koo's doing okay. Why is that? He might have an accident. He's fine. Hasn't done that since fourth grade. Wait, was it the fifth grade? Around the time he started wearing that thing on his head? Uh, you're right. But if that contraption is what's preventing him from having an accident, what'll happen if it comes off? <laughs> you worry too much, I honey. I guess you're right. <laughs> Here we go. I hope it's okay I took it off without asking, but if he fell on it, this hairpin would really hurt him, so... <laughs> Psyche, wake up! We got a big problem! What? I must have fallen asleep. Hey, this is no time to be taking a nap! Stop yelling in my ear. What time is it? We have to return to the hotel. You mean return the hotel! What? No, I meant return to the hotel. Now calm down. Calm down? Are you out of your mind? The hotel we were staying in is gone! And I've got a pretty good feeling that you're behind this somehow! Oops. I had an accident.